Piazzoli says hi relic. Lori, how you doing? Welcome everybody. So the van is a no-go. Uh, it had a list of other things that that I didn't know was wrong with. Mama F1R3FLY says good evening, Relic. Good evening, Mama Firefly. How you doing? The intoxicated says oh. Genedia yeah. yells hi relic. He intoxicated. How oh, you hi, doing? Bacon, says you Relic doing? on the Ruat again. Oi, oi, Bacon, how you doing? Murky Dirk says, hey, Relic, hope you had a good day. Murky Dirk, I had a great day. Kuya 40 says, hi, Relic. Hello, Kuya, how you doing? S. Franco says, oh, no. Yeah, S. Franco. Holy Sheep Sheet says, spank my bum bum. Okay, oh, Holy Sheep Sheet. Raven 500,000 yeah. says, sorry, Relic. It's all good, right? Reactable Ash yeah. Lemon yeah. Squad yeah. saved you some money. Fortnite 0315 says, hey, how are you doing today? I'm doing good, Fortnite. How you doing? QP 6663 says, hi, Relic. What's up? Hi, Cutie How you doing? Winnie Mochi says, it's okay. Something better will come along. Yeah, yeah. Beanie 74 says, hey, I'm a Moth 1R3 fly. Emmy Kava Art says, hey, Pasa Relic. Shout out to Beanie. How you doing? Farmerman 32 says, Relic, are we going beer shopping? We're Farmerman. Young Toxicated says, that's what we get for trusting a YouTuber. <laughs> Robin Crone says hi Relic. Robin Crone, how you doing? Michelle says at least I got a WTH out of you, Relic. Yes, Michelle. QP6663 says I'm doing good. Nice, nice, QP. Robin pie. Crone says hi chat. Nice. King Solo44 says did she hit it with more mailboxes? Well, I'm gonna hey, 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 says hey, live action. Yeah, well, King Solo, how you doing? Hey, how you doing? Hey, 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 
Big Boy Chris 46 says hi at Relic and Chat. Big Boy Chris, how you doing? You can call me Keith says howdy howdy. Stealer fan 2001. Winnie Lurch says I needed Let's some Relic some in my day. You can call I was me so Winnie Lurch. How you doing? Alive. Thank Art. you. Crazy Mix, thank you for getting us up, the Steeler fan. Says, oh, thank and Potty Maldana. Can we get some hype up in here? Shout out Stachio to Potty Maldana. says, did you find another van? I'm working now, Young Stachio. Young says, thank God for the Lemon Squad. Yeah, um, the report is in Discord, Whiskey if y'all want to see it. Whiskey Pack says, hello, Relic Army. Whiskey Pack, how you doing? Emmy Kava Art says, teacher said she keep deposit to pay for mailbox. <laughs> Oh my god. JKB83404 says my neighbor's mailbox stepped on a bed. Oh no, that sucks. Mr. Marcus Allen Romer says hi Relic. Mr. Marcus Romer, how you doing? Mario Terras. When you have, how you doing? Running over to Discord now. Yes, it's in Chili the van I just got my two gallon pee bottle with the Relic logo. <laughs> what the hell, Chili? Whisperer Girl says, Hi, Relic. Whisperer Girl, how you doing? Road Dog 27 says, Relic is my hero. I am wearing my Super Relic under roof. Nice, Road Dog. Don Palmer 6 says, Hi, Relic. Nice, good, my man. Fortnite, Dirk thank you so much for the, the resub. Lemon squad determined it was a lemon. Yes, they did, pretty much. Donut Hole Sniffer says, Today my sis came into town and found out her daughter loves Twitch, and I told my sis, him known as Donut Hole Sniffer on Twitch, and she said, Yeah, cause you eat ass while shaking my head. <laughs> Mandy Kalanakis says, Yeehaw. Ooh, that's crazy. Lori Piasoli says, WJ. Jay and Werner, how you doing? Whiskey Pack 44 asks, Eating stream later? Big Boy Chris 46 says, Hi, chat. Lori Piasoli asks, What did she reply this morning? Metal Angels just resubbed for three freaking months with Twitch Prime. Pay Relic and Army Smile. Metal Angels, thank you so much for the three months with the Twitch Prime. Nicholas so Fox much. says Relic, Potty Mouth Donna, 2 Death 2 here, Mario Terrace. Nicholas, how you doing? Don Palmer 6 says, Hey Relic, how are you doing? Hey Don Palmer, I'm doing good. Fortnite 08315 says you're welcome. Thank you so much. Donut Hole Sniffer says I can't really oh, my own. Damn. Said them to okay, me. that is all this. What in the hell is the stuff flying on the dude that's crazy? Crazy Vix One says, Two Death loves so many donut holes. Envy Dragon says, Hi, at Relic and Chat. Hope all are well. Hi, Envy Dragon. How you doing? Mama F1R3FLY says, You'll find the right man somewhere at Relic. I believe so, Mama Firefly. Miss Star Unicorn, thank you for gifting us up to Big Boy Chris. I believe so, Mama Firefly. What is happening here? Warcraft is, Andy asks, did you decide buying that stealth van? Shout out to Warcraft Andy. No, we got a JM report. JM 30 yells, what? Relic Danny saved my life the other night. What I happened? I was choking on food. Oh, you were choking on food? Oh, no. I'm glad you saved X your life. Rikiri X says, hi, Relic. Rikiri, how you doing? Rikiri X says, Monka Steer. Monka Steer, yes. Werner 73 says, hi, at Robin Cron. I'm glad he saved your life. Beanie says, hi, Relic. Hey, Beanie. FFEJ Warrior says, good evening, Relic. FFEJ Warrior, how you doing? So, everybody keeps telling me North about... West Seaman says, evening, Relic. NW Seaman, how you doing? Pittsburgh Girl asks, been busy with a new job I started last week. How are you, Relic? I'm doing good. I hope your job's going well. Warcraft Andy asks, did the Lemon Squad decide it was too much for repairs? Well, the Lemon Squad gave Shout them a call. Shout 97 says, hope all is well relic. Hey, potty I mouth. Got to tingle. Sound I alert says, anonymous to use 200 bits to play jingle time. Shout 97, how you doing? 77,773 says, hi, relic. Hi, what's he? Robin Crow says, I saved my ex's life one time. No, I'm second guessing all. John Palmer 6 says, how was your day, relic? It was great. Emmy Papa Hart says, I did notice on the report that the van has good bumpers. Has good bumpers, yeah, yeah. Intoxicated says the biggest lesson here is that I don't use the Discord enough. Y'all are in there chatting away, and I had no idea. Oh yeah, that's right a bunch. X says K E K W. Bunch going on in Discord. Northwest Seaman says fairly good. Coworker is out sick with COVID. Got oh, a no. text from his wife this morning. Oh lord. Dead Pixel Ten yells, "Hey Relic." Dead Pixel, how you doing? Michelle says I didn't find it in the van section, but I guess I was overlooked. It. What is it classed under? You have to scroll up now. Donut it's been, Sniffer says, check. It's been too many days. YVet63 says, hey, hey, at a jam winner 30. YVet63 says, less than three, less than three at Rock Run. YVet, how you doing? 
A Skyline Kim GTR1 thank you for, says, say, Hi, Relic. Thank you for the 100 minis, the Skyline, how Farmerman you doing? 32 says, 2 def 2 here, what's going on? Robin Crow okay. says, where are we going, Relic? We're going to Ikea. Rikiri X says, did you get your deposit back? Not Manga yet. HMM. I have not got it back yet. Woodsy77773 says, make sure you tell the neighbor about the mailbox if the teacher doesn't give back deposit. <laughs> Raven 500,000 says hi at 2 def 2 here. Mr. Marcus Allen Romer says my application is still on the review of a store manager at my local Walmart. Nice, Marcus. I hope you get the job. Robin Crone says, did you get your deposit back? Nope, not yet. Clabarbin says, are we carry yet? Rikiri X says, K-E-K-W. Mr. Marcus Allen Romer says, store. Store. Lead 197,744 says, hi at Relic, how's it going? Hey, Lee, how you doing? You having a good day? Crabarbin says, hi at Vixen's Naughty. Vixen's Naughty, Dead how you Pixel doing? 10 asks, what are we getting at the old Ikea? We're going to go look at the furniture for a van. So, everybody keeps telling me Ikea is the place to go for stealth van lightweight furniture. So, we're going to go see what all they have and what works for Jamonet stealth Max says, vans. still them crickets. Yep. I love sweet dark chocolate says hey too deaf to hear. Hemigod says good evening y'all. Jam on it, Mac, how you doing? Hemigod, how you doing? Six says hi. Emmy Kava Art says going to looks at furniture for van you're not getting. Tanya, how you doing? Yes. FFJ yes. Warrior says I ate at Taco Bell tonight, so I'm staying within 30 feet from the toilet. That's a good idea. League 197,744 says hiya at Vixen's Naughty. Farmerman32 says, 2 def 2 here, is your sister single? <laughs> Clabarbin asks, are Hump with us today too? No, Hump is not here. 36 Tina says, hello Relic and everyone much love. Shout out to 36 Tina, how you doing? F10 PPE says, let's be honest, we're going to get lost inside Ikea. Probably F10, probably. Scarsburg yells, hello Relic and Relic Army. Scarsburg, how you doing? Fortnite 08315 says, you will find the right band. I hope so. Don Palmer 6 says, love you, Relic. Love you too, Don. Homeslaw 77 asks, did you buy the van? Homeslaw, no, we didn't. League 197,744 says, doing good, thanks, Relic. Nice, nice. Jblaze78 says, hello, Relic Twitch, won't let me resub or send subs. My sub has ended for your channel, sir. Hope you having a great day, though, sir. Troop 3 TBL, he are Troop 3 Terabits. No problem, Jblaze. Hope you have a good day, Nicholas too. Fox says, hi, 36 Tina. I love sweet star chocolate. Says, hey relic, it's sweets. Hey sweets, how you doing? Invisible do? monkey says, just attach a large IKEA box to the Kia and live in it. There you go. There you go. Clabarbin says there are some sex swing on IKEA for the van. Oh lord. Sound alert says Monster King 27 used 100 bits to play car off my butt. Monster King, King, how you doing? Beanie says Humpy wanted to come to IKEA. Nope, he did. Big Sims 420 yelled relic. Big Sam's, how you doing? Andy Milanakis says you will find Scarsburg the right man and the right man. Five, yeah, yeah, months. yeah. Farmerman32 says two deaths two here. I thought we could be donut hole in laws for last Sorry, thank I had two. Thank you so much two. for the resub. Big Sam's 420 says what's up? Big Sam's, I'm having Big a good Sims day. Big Sam's 420 yeah. says how's it going? Going good, going good. Mr. Neotrip says evening everyone. Evening, Mr. Neotrip. EKKB yells hey relic. EKKB, how you Dead doing? Dead Pixel10 says anyone here a lawyer? We need to sue the teacher. <laughs> oh, Lord. FFEJ Warrior asks, will there be a glory hole in the van? Uh, hopefully not. Emmy Kava Art says that van was too long. It was too long? Okay. Iron Soul 101 says, yo. Iron Soul, how you doing? Robin Crone says three people are dead from that house blowing up yesterday. Oh no, that's terrible. Farmerman32 says two def two here can't be any worse to you than what Relic says lol. Oh lord. Michelle says he needs more D. No, not more D. I took my vitamins I today. Think that's why she gave it Big to me. Ben she Johnson says hello too. Relic. What happened with the van? And, uh... If I never Big Ben Johnson. Unsigned Metal 2022 well, says Relic, did you break the door well, handle on the van? I did not break not the door handle. Uh, delicious. Right Yuri X says, just hire the teacher's parents. Yeah. Invisible Monkey says, it's not how long the van is, it's how you drive it. There you go. 
Monster King 27 says, Relic, try not making love to the stealth band due to you never know what's hiding on the inside. And very true, very true. EKKB asks you staying in town this weekend? Yep, working on the haunt. So, we may have one weekend that we go out Big of Sims town. 420 asks, did we get the van? We did not get the van. Mr. Neo Trip asks, what are the plans for the weekend, Relic? Just to, uh... C.S. Pamerless asks, did you bring all hundos to pay for the van? Uh, C-SPAN, all hundos, JKB yes. JKB 83404 says, well, and she reset the error codes on the van. That might be a criminal offense, actually. <laughs> I don't think it is, C-SPAN. Beanie says, can we have the sound clip with Relic and the teacher, haha? -ha? Oh, my God. Farmerman32 says, 36 Tina, how goes it time to party? Time to party. Big Sims 420 yells, dang, I am sorry. It's all good. It's all good. You know, I mean, we want to make the right decision. Woodsy 77,773 says, make sure you will be able to get a van that you can drive into tight spaces. If I would not have got Bandy the limit Milanaka squad. Andy says, we got to put some flames on the van or some pinstripes. John Palmer 6 says, I am sorry that you didn't get the van relic. It's all good. 36 Tina says, Big Sims 420 has subscribed to us. Big Sims! says, got to step away for a bit. All right, no problem. Farmerman32 says, 36 Tina doing good half day of work, Tom, Big, then races later that night. Big Sams, thank you so much for the resub. Berkey Dirk says, saved by the Lemon Squad. Saved by the Lemon Squad, yes. 36 Tina says, all good things come to those who wait. Yep, yep, exactly. Funhouse420 says, hey, Relic. Funhouse, how you doing? FFJ Warrior says, call Mr. T and get the 18 fan out of storage. Yeah, get the 18 fan. TXMan84 says, did Lemon Squad find something? Yes, they did. Yes, Ed Pixel 10 says this was all an elaborate ad for the Lemon Squad. Yeah, yeah. Vixen's Naughty. 225 says, hello, Relic, good to see you. Laddie, how you doing? Vixen's Naughty, thank you for the reset. 420 says, no prob. Yeah, yeah, the Lemon Squad found some more stuff that wasn't on the first report. And it just kind of makes me, um, you know, a little, a little, uh, The Strokes Reptilia anxious. says it looked beat up, to be honest. Yeah, it did. Funhouse 420 says shish. It did. It did. Invisible Monkey asks, is a lemon squad kind of like a lemon party? Maybe. Maybe. Mr. Neotrip yeah. says part of me felt bad about showing you the lemon yeah. squad, but at least we found out. I was really surprised to hear they cleared codes before you got there on the van. Now it's everywhere. Yeah, Mama Fire 1R3FLY says, I'm making homemade soup and bread for a late dinner. Nice, Mama Firefly. That's true, Mr. Neo Trip. Thank you so much for finding them. Because they got over there quick. They actually, they got Don there the Palmer same Six day. says, I hope you get a Van Relic. I do too. They got there the same day, but... Lofler says, Van Life Biatches. But she didn't leave the keys for the van, so they had to come back. found more on the van? Yeah, they found more stuff, yeah. Superstream server says scene switch to BRB. Oh lord, what's going on? Letty 225 says, I'm doing good relic. I kept my son home from school today to give him a reset. I have a re-entry meeting with the dean and principal tomorrow at 8.30 tomorrow morning. Okay, Letty, I hope your son... Herbert says, so the lemon squad found a lemon. <laughs> I hope your son gets better, Letty. That's the most important thing right now for you, you know? Yontoxicated says, IDK. With used cars, there's always a new one tomorrow. Yep. I said yep. over easy says hi relic. What's up? I said over easy. How you 36 doing? Tina says I know something you could do all night long at relic Nice eat watermelon. Bendrax asks hello daddy. Oh, how's it going? It's going good. How Clap you doing? Clavarbin asks are you having a jewel cooler in the van? Bendrax. I don't know what a jewel cooler is. Michelle says we in a bad area EKKB says near Memorial City Mall. Let's go there. Memorial City Mall. Yes. Steffi face says good evening. Good evening, Steffi Luke Face. Luke the Dingus says, you're my butterfly, sugar, baby. 
Hi everyone. Luke the Dean guess Ready how you 225 doing? says thank you Relic. I sure hope he gets better as well and yes it's extremely important. Yes lady. Funhouse 420 says hello Tina. DJ Mean Talk yells hey hey Relic. DJ Mean Talk how you doing? 36 Tina says yep eat watermelon all right. Gajoako says Eurobeat song kick in. Gajoako how you doing? Hooded Reaper Gaming says watermelon does sound good right now. It does, Hooded Reaper Gaming. Clabarbin says it's a cooler for your balls relic. Oh, that's what it is. Funhouse420 okay. says yeah, yeah. <laughs> Don Palmer6 says I had watermelon last night, M. Mmm, delicious. Fortnite08315 says thank God for Lima Squid. Yep, thank God for Lemon Squad. PMG says hi, relic. Hi, potty mouth. Letty225 says watermelon is refreshing. Yes, it is, Letty. Very DJ Mean Talk asks you staying in Houston this weekend? Yes, we will be working Shardy in the Pants this 76 weekend. says hi, Relic. Hi, Shardy Pants. How you doing? It's A Mario says hi, Relic. It's a Mario. How you doing? Big Ben Johnson says hi, my guy, lol. Hi, my guy, Big Ben. Donut Hole Sniffer says OMFG, the van is too big. The van Beanie is too 74 big. says hi, Relic. Hi, Beanie. Luke the Dingus says I am doing great. Thanks, Dad. <laughs> Rico981 says, are you just going to build a stealth cave out of Ikea furniture? Probably, probably, Gajoko yes. says, hi, Reglan, you are best duo. Gajoko, how you doing? PMG says, I guess I can stop hiding now. You weren't hiding. Funhouse420 you talked 420 earlier. says, hey, all. You talked earlier. CRUL Nightfire2 says, HII Relic. Girl Nightfire, how you doing? Pervert says, hi, Relic. Hi, Pervert. Chesho905 says, hi, at Relic. Hi, Chesh. How you doing? Big Sims 420 says, dang, so much cheaper lol. Murky Dirk says, are we getting any ranch later? Probably. I'm hungry. Rico981 says, van not cave lol. Van not cave. Hemigod yeah. says, lol. <laughs> Non-toxicated asks, can we get some meatballs? Are they still made from horse? They were made from horse? FFDJ Warrior what? says, do you know what is brown and sits in the corner? Answer, Gomer's Pile. Gomer's Pile. Gary Madden okay. says, watermelon in a one sauce. Gary Madden, how you doing? Kate did 1992 asks I got not notification. D. Did Kate. we get the van or what's going uh, on? Uh, Kate did, we did not, no. CRUL Nightfire 2 says, hey, why vet hugs? Why vet in the building? Genidia says, relic, I'm sorry, I thought that van was the right one too. Genidia, I did, I did, yes. CRUL Nightfire 2 says, I'm good, relic. That's good, that's Mandy good. Milanakis says, how far we got till Ikea? I uh, need a snack. Like a minute? Like Terminator minute. 4D asks, oh, so that van fell through? Yeah, it did. It EKKB did. says ranch from a straw. Relic has dinner with his ranch. Ranch from a straw, yes. Kate did 1992 says I love Ikea. The a only one near me is like an hour away. A ranch IV. Army Vet 007 says hey Relic. Hey Army Vet, how you doing? More Ranch Dressing says hello Relic. Hello More Ranch Dressing, how you Gajoico doing? Gajoico says this fun let's go. Where the hell is it? Terminator 4D asks, so is Chad right about the mechanical issues being too much? Pretty much, yes. Rikiri X asks, are you going to get some balls from Ikea? Maybe, maybe, Rikiri. Hemigod says, Australia never been in an Ikea store. Don't have them where I am. Keep grinding out your Gaslight strings, says, Relic. 30,000 followers Hi, is around Relic. the corner. Australia is thinking so much for two months. With Can we get a shout out for Australia, y'all? ELKMUK22 asks, was Van trash? Hope you've been having some good streams. Kate did 1992 asks, so we are buying furniture for a van we don't have yet? Well, yes, pretty much. <laughs> We're, going. <laughs> We're going to look. Oh my God! So, so. Um, Clabarbin says nothing better with some ranch dripping down your crack. Hell yeah, that's what I'm talking. The about. end is beer says I heard IKEA has nice poop buckets. Yes, the end is beer. Yes. Fat Spaz says Lolo. Fat Spaz says Lolo. Gajoko says, Can you put the radio on? Uh, Gaslag says, I love IKEA. Then I'll get a copyright strike. Rikiri X says, K E K W. Whoa, freaking. Mandy Milanakis asks, Huh? <laughs> Why Vet 63 says, Those clouds. All them clouds. IKEA. FFEJ Warrior says, Crack Ranch. Crack Sounds ranch. like a hell of a place to visit. There you go. Crack Ranch. Kate did 1992 says I was thinking about you earlier, Relic. 
I was hoping to see you live soon. Thank you, Kate did. Thank you so Pilsky much. Pilsky 6 asks, did you get the van? We did not, Pilsky, no. We Neighbors did not. asks, evening. Teacher's van update? I'll give y'all an update once Herbert we park. says, holy cow, incoming bird. Yeah, that bird came King out of nowhere. King Solo 44 says, damn, that bird wanted a ride. <laughs> yeah, that bird tried to come through the windshield. Fortnite says, King Cake is so good. King Cake is good, nice. Letty 225 says, hopefully you find some food to Relic since you're hungry. Yep, we'll find food. CRUL Nightfire 2 says, I heard Relic has a nice pooper. We got the Ranchero King Buffet Emily right Papa here. Hart says, chat going to build you a stealth van. So maybe we'll go here when we're done. Diddy it's the... Diddy Diddy asks, does Ikea sell stealth vans? No. This is the Ranchero King Buffet. Maybe it's like, I don't even know Don what kind Palmer of buffet this is. -E Maybe it's like a Mexican buffet. Funhouse 420 Something. says, I'm glad we're going to get off in this Ikea. What the hell, Funhouse? Dothink says, hey all. Dothink, how you Each doing? Each and everything 430 says, can we get some meatballs? Meatballs. Marky Ikea Dirk meatballs. says, Relic's windshield looks clean today. Yep, yep, it's clean. Kate did 1992 says, Ikea has food if you've never been to an Ikea before so Relic can find food. F10 PPE yells Swedish meatball time. Swedish meatballs. Nice. The intoxicated says, are you still headed to Galveston this month? I'm headed down there and staying at the Hotel Galvez. Nice. Hoping for some ghosts. You know that place is haunted. Gaslegs yeah. says, have never eaten there. Always wondered if the food was good there. Uh, I think... God says, best buy colors. I think I've had the balls here one time. Mandy Milanakis asks, do they have a good cord in this one? Dothink says, they say, if you want Ikea to last use dowels and glue. <laughs> yeah. FFEJ yeah. Wanted to last use dowels and glue. So I'm going to give y'all an update on the van uh, while we're walking to the Ikea. And I'll just let y'all know kind of what's going on. And this car is back. You got all the parts. You're going to back in on top of me. Why are you going back in on top of me? Um, I was just at the Mary Allen Seminary with you. Oh, nice. Nice memers. Um, still trying to catch up. Okay. I don't know what this car is doing all up on top of me. Name's Witchin. How you doing? Uh, where's my key? Oh, it's over here. Yes, this is a two-story Ikea. This is a huge Ikea, y'all. It's huge. Underscore gangs underscore all has subscribed for 11 freaking months. Huge love. Okay. Gangs all, thank you so much for the resub. I was checking a text message. Text message. What y'all know about them text message? <laughs> Susie Q, how you doing? I got wires hanging out everywhere. Looking like Robocop about to go in Ikea. Okay, so um, so I had the Lemon Squad go check out the van and I'll read the report to y'all. And uh, you know, you can let me know what you think. Hardly ever check my text messages. Baby, how you doing? 
Venom, how you doing? Okay, so uh, this is the report right here from Lemon Squad. It says, uh, let's see. Okay, so it says uh, functionality interior was no noted with cosmetic issues. The AC is in fact inoperable. Uh, two info center alerts were noted. Engine bay and undercarriage components were examined for leaks. Test drive was conducted. We scanned the computer system. Um, these are the issues. The uh, wiper blades are worn and need to be replaced. The wiper windshield washer sprays towards the headlights. It doesn't spray towards the windshield. It sprays in the opposite direction of the uh, of the head of the windshield. Like it sprays. Like if you're standing in front of the vehicle, it sprays towards up. It it sprays the wrong direction. So. I'm sure that's nothing big. Um, they talked about the scratches, the dunes, the dunes, the tank condition. That's Custom City and the Kitty. Milky here's how you do it. has gifted one freaking subs to viewers. Let's get some hype. G3 has gifted a lot of freaking subs in this channel. It's G G3, thank you so much for gifting a sub. Can we get some hype up in here? Okay, so the next part is, uh, you know, the dents, the body, the rust, or whatever. Headlights are worn, need, need the oxidation removed. Uh, exterior glass has poor silicone and poor insulation, uh, which may cause leaks, I guess. And then the windshield's cracked in multiple places, so that was that one. And then we go to the next one. Um, it says, the alert, the SRS and the check engine light is on, the SRS airbag light's on. Um, the AC is not working, doesn't blow cool, stop blowing during the inspection. Uh, they talk about silicone type smell, the headliner. Um, engine coolant needs to be replaced and the system flushed. The belts are glazed, so they recommend the belts get replaced. Engine oil is dirty, needs to be changed. The shocks and bushings are worn uh, due to the age and mileage. When coming to a stop, there's a pulsation coming from the brake pedal. This is typically caused by warped rotors. Clunky noise present in the front end when you go over bumps. Uh, there was a slight vibration present due to the rear tires. Steering wheel is off center, uh, needs to be aligned. Tire pressure monitor lights on. This could be a low tire sensor or battery or whatever issue. Um, the computer and found that the computer was not ready. Monitors were incomplete. Uh, the computer was reset. Three codes are present. P242F, DEF, PO101, mass airflow, and PO544 exhaust gas temperature. Um, that's why it was reset. If the code was erased, it'll come back and turn the check engine light on after a few hundred miles. Um, so that's, that's the stuff that they found. And, uh, And so, the conversation we had was, uh, I'll just, so I said, uh, I said, um, uh, good afternoon, I received the report back, uh, took it to my local mechanic to go over it, so I took it to a mechanic that I know, uh, where I take my car to, and I had him kind of look at the report, and kind of, you know, he said, it's, oh my God, Peyton, thank you so much for the resub. Peyton1207 has subscribed for seven freaking months. Peyton, thank you so much for the seven months. And so I took it, I said, uh, good afternoon. I received a report back and just took it to my local mechanic to go over it with me. Um, sending you uh, the report so you can have it for reference. But after talking to my mechanic, mechanic, he highly advises that I not purchase the van for 18000 he feels it could easily take up to $10,000 potentially to get it all up to speed according to what came back on the report. I wanted this van so bad, but I can't pay that much and still and still afford to fix everything. I am sorry. So that's what I basically sent. Um, it's not 3K in repairs. The, the mechanic said if there's something major wrong with suspension or the AC unit, 
Uh, the the death thing alone, that one death thing, just the parts fifteen hundred dollars. That doesn't include replacing it and installing it. So just that death, whatever that thing is, with parts and labor and everything, is like over two thousand dollars just to replace that one code. And uh, I know what to do with that big fat butt. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Jesse, thank you for the wiggle, new sub. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. wiggle. Jesse6960 has subscribed for eight freaking months. Hey, Relic. Jesse, thank you for the eight months. Yeah, the DFPF filter. Yeah, it's expensive. Um, and so I, I, uh, I said, uh, she replied, sounds like you're looking for a brand new van with absolutely no flaws. The report says it's a used van with sensors that have gone bad. Not what you're looking for, the van isn't for you. What of it did your mechanic say needed to be fixed for it to drive? The must fix list, I said he's worried about the suspension issues, the rotor issues, the AC and the engine codes. He said those things could end up being costly once he started getting into it and tearing it apart to fix it. And no, I don't want a new van, I simply can't pay $18,000 and then spend another $10,000 on repairs. Because my perspective on that is, if I wanted to spend $30,000, I would be looking at a $30,000 van already. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, that's, kind of, that's just my perspective, right? If I, if I really wanted to spend 30 grand, I would be looking at something that's listed for like 35 grand on a, you know, a whole nother level of van. You know what I'm saying? So the reason I was looking at the one that's 20 to 18 is because that's what I wanted to spend for something that, you know, that, that I feel was dependable. But if I wanted to uh, spend 30, I, 30 to 35, I would be looking at a completely different van. So, and uh, Slot Lover, how you doing? And so I replied back, um, she said it's up I said uh, she said it's up to you the AC's never given me an issue last weekend I would bet my left arm it just needs Freon I'll take it to my mechanic and get it retested for $200 I know my van I know it's in great shape you could drive from the US and beyond I don't want you to lose out on it because some people on the internet are comparing this vehicle to something brand new you won't find something with anywhere without anywhere for this price but if you're a completely risk adverse person, then you should really think about something younger and much more expensive. I said, let me think on it. I'll, get, I'll let you know tomorrow. I said, after much thought, I've decided to get the deposit back. I am sorry. Um, she says, that's fine. I will say this. What are you looking for in a van? Because you won't find a built van for less than 30K. I went to other vans that are in Texas and with similar builds, and the cheapest I can find is 45k. With every repair they quoted, this van is still 17k cheaper. So she's like, if I make all the repairs for 10 grand and pay the the 30, the 18 grand or whatever, it's still cheaper than anything else I can find. So basically, if I spend 30 grand, it's still going to be cheaper than anything I can find. That's what she's saying. If you find a van you like better, I'm happy to convert it. Conversions are sold for. For 35k, after you buy the van, I can beat that price, and I can do it in 10 weeks. Shoot me the address, so she's gonna, so she's gonna meet me and give me the money back. And then she found three vans that were 100k miles that were fully built out. One was 34,000, um, and she sent me an empty van. No, no, no. She sent me an empty van um, with 160,000 miles. That was 34,000 with no build out. Um, and she found some really old vans for, uh, she found a 2004 that was built out for 43,000. She found a 2021 for, that was built out with 3,000 miles for 87,000. And she found a 2008 for 45,000. Mercedes Sprinters, these are all Mercedes. And so, um, and so she's gonna meet me tomorrow to give me the deposit back. Picks and sticks, how you doing? Harley Quinn fifty three eighteen has subscribed for eleven freaking months. 
Harley Quinn, thank you so much for the 11 months. Uh, if you're serious about a van, don't cheap out. This is your life on the line. Be safe. No, I'm going to get the right van, but I'm, I'm going to tell you right now. I don't care if I was a millionaire. I would not spend $98,000 on a van because I just think that's, that's, that, just, that just doesn't make sense. I would rather spend that money and then leftover money help other people out or donate it. Not, I don't need a $100,000 van at all, and I don't think anybody should be buying a freaking $100,000 van. You know what I'm saying? Phoenix Commander, how you doing? Harley Quinn, thank you so much for the resub. I appreciate it. Okay, so so this, you know, this is furniture, but so you could take something like this and turn it sideways. You know? Like, but what I'm really came for is someone told me they have the furniture here at IKEA where it's got the uh, the lockable buttons on it to where it won't open unless you push the lock. I don't know what those buttons are called. They're like they're like little uh, lockable buttons. And supposedly, a lot of people that do the van thing get a lot of their stuff from Ikea for the vans. So, what kind of van are you looking for? Post WS. Uh, slot lever. I got Illinois covered. Free shirts. Free shirts. Fill it with Twitch shirts. Yes. Um, I'm looking for like a medium to high roof uh, sprinter type van. Um, you know. I prefer less than 200,000 miles, if possible. Um, I know everybody says we need to get diesel and not gas, because diesels last longer. But, uh, so they should have like, they should have like, hmm, money, money. What's well, Texas man? Thank you for the thank you for the dollar. And Brian Littlebridge, thank you for the resub. Lady Bonfire. Brian Probably Little was her cousin. Yeah. Unsigned metal. If you get lost, don't think you will be able to put these together. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. I can get you a party bus. Switch. I don't want something as big as a party bus. I know I'm sounding very picky, y'all, but this is a big decision, and I just want to make sure that it's the right one, you know, because. Because uh, there's no turning back once once it's full force, you know. So this does not work boys for a. This does not work for. See, boys, thank you for the 300. Can we get some big old bitties in here? Terminator. I could tell she was inside hitting the mailbox, stopping on cake. You don't need a van that is going to break down. No, but there there are vans that are in decent shape. I found one today that has a. Uh, I found one today that's a, um, let me, let me go look, tell y'all what kind it is. And I asked, I talked to the guy who says that it has zero mechanical issues. Um, they've, they've only ever owned it. It's had, it's had one owner and that is the people that, uh, that's the people that, um, that's the people that, uh, have always owned the van. They were a one owner and, uh. Hazard colors, we did not, no. Each and everything, 430. Good luck hunting a van, I agree. No needs to be expensive. West Texas, yes. Leo, for how are you doing? So this van is a 2016, so it's eight years newer than the van we looked at. It's got around 200,000 miles, so it's got 100 and something thousand miles less. It's eight years newer, right? It's a 2016. And it is a Nissan NVSL. A Nissan NVSL. So it looks. Now it's got graphics on it and stuff, but it looks like that right there. So it's a Nissan NVSL. And they will they will take ten thousand for it. So that gives me a lot of budget to, to work with. It's uh it's been it's been with a company. It's been with a, uh, it's been with a Pro Parts company, Pro Parts Center company, and they bought the van originally. No one else has ever driven it, so it's got miles, but they're delivery miles, and um, so that's one of the ones I'm looking at. Living in a van by the van by the river, teddy bear. Yes. 
Make sure the Nissan don't have CVT transmission. Is there a wizard graphic on the side? There was their graphic on the side. Their company, their parts company graphic was on the side. So that's, that's what you saw on the side of it. So, uh, so Ikea, oh, check out this room. Is this a dining room? Panorama. If you're buying a used car, you better know a lot about cars. Well, that's why we have the lemon squad. You know what I'm saying? Oh, this is an outdoor grill up in here. Are they grilling up some broccoli? Man, don't this just look delicious? Mmm. And some corn? Everybody likes grilled corn. Ikea does have some nice furniture, y'all. Oh, man, check out this. And I think you can buy this entire countertop and everything, huh? Like, all of this is for sale. Look at this freaking island. That is awesome. I wonder what it costs. I guess you can buy the whole kitchen. Oh, you can get this entire kitchen for $23,000. What? So that comes with the cabinets, the back, the top, the stove, the built-in microwave, the sink, the lights, that cabinet, the refrigerator. You can get this whole thing for $23,000. Hmm. I guess that includes the fridge, too. Oh, we even got fake vegetables. That might hurt coming out the other end. Corn and butter and salt. Are you corny? Miss Config, how you doing? Delivery miles are good, especially in Texas. Where it happens faster with constant restarting, but that van was probably kept running for AC during deliveries, yes. I was thinking you can build the inside of your stealth van to get you going and dome the road. You can always upgrade it, yes. That's true, that is true. Slipstream, can we get a shout out for Slipstream up in here? You having a good day? 23K easy. Rock, paper, COVID, how you doing? You should get an old short school bus. Yeah, they're kind of hard to, mm -hmm. old short school buses are kind of hard to hide though. If you just want to get the, what is this? Kitchen combination. Okay, so the kitchen combination includes the cabinets, the fronts, the handles, fittings, hinges, covers, toe kicks, legs, drawers, sink, faucet, lighting. Oh. So you can get, so what is the 2300? What is that? 23,000. What is 20? What is that advertising? It says the kitchen combination. Oh, okay, okay, there we go. Okay, so you can get the cabinets, the countertops, and everything minus the appliances. The countertops are seven, the appliances are seven, and the combination is eight, so it's 23 for everything, but. You can, you can, if you just want the countertops and nothing else with the sinks and all that stuff and no appliances, you can get that for seven. Hmm, okay. So you can break it down if you don't want all of it. Why not check your police auction? They have vans. All I need is a dark kitchen for less cleaning, please. Yes. Okay, so I'm looking for, I'm thinking what we're looking for may be in more of like a storage because I was told they had the freaking um, cabinetry and stuff here that had the little push buttons on it to open, you know? Like this. This would almost fit in a, uh, in a uh, stealth fan if it was a little thinner. It's a little too wide. A little too wide for a stealth fan. Oh, so this must be the budget kitchen. You can get this complete kitchen for $2,200. You get the countertops, the cabinets, the sink, the, the stove. What else do you get? The refrigerator. You get the complete kitchen for $2,300. There we go. This is the budget kitchen. You get the uh, drawer base, cabinet base, microwave, sink combo, faucets, oven, shift combo, fridge. You get the chairs. Chairs. You get the tables. Oh, you get, the, you get all of this. You get, the, you get the tables and chairs and... You get the cart, you get a white cart. Where the hell is the cart? Oh, is that, oh, the cart over there. You get that little, that little herb cart. Okay. And, oh, so you get all of this too, the storage area with the microwave and all that. Do you get the microwave too? Yep, you do get the, you get the microwave as well. So you get this whole section, 
you get all of this, you get the cart, you get the table, you get the chairs, the refrigerator, the cabinets, you get the whole thing. Hmm. I bet that's what they do for those Airbnbs I stay in. I bet they come here and get a 2000 hard kitchen and just put it in. I'm, I bet that's what happens. Herbage. Thank you, Pell Brew. I'll check it out. It's hard to believe you can get a whole kitchen for $2,000, you know? Like, even in today's world, with what materials cost and with inflation and everything, that you can get a whole kitchen, including the dining table and chairs, for $2,000. Don't, like, do any backyard wrestling on it, because I don't think it's going to last, but, you know, other than that. Well, this computer desk is only $40. Hmm. Nice. Nice. Okay. Let's keep looking. Let's keep looking for some stealth van stuff. I guess you could use those upper cabinets for upper cabinets in the stealth van. Chicken Angel, thank you for the resub. Rockin' Redman, how you doing? Chosen underscore Angel has subscribed for 48 freaking months. Chosen Angel, thank you for the 48 months. I appreciate it. 314, check a junkyard for a wrecked converted van. Inside may be salvageable. That's true, 314. Post WS made from sawdust paste. Yeah. Man, I need to swap out stealth vans in five years. See this right here? This is nice for a stealth van. And these are nice for a stealth van right here. But this is nice because it's very narrow. And you could stain this wood, this plywood on top. You could just stain it, make it look Hi. decent. You know? Hi, excuse me. Sorry. Hello? Uh, I don't want to interrupt. Are you, are you doing something? I'm just standing here. Oh, okay. Uh, I just want to ask what the GoPro was for. I'm live streaming on Twitch. Oh. Mm-hmm. Okay, that's cool. Yeah, so Sorry. I'm showing them Ikea. Okay. A lot of them have never seen Ikea before. Oh, sweet. I was you, just asking. Do you have Twitch? Uh, I, I used to. I know my cousin, he used to play. And he used to sh stream on Twitch. Mm-hmm. Okay. Cool. Well, look me up on Twitch. R-E-L-L-I-K. R-E-L-L-I-K. Okay, sweet. I'm going to write it down. Thank you so much. Thank you. Have nice a good day. You. What's your name? Relic. Relic. Mm -hmm. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Have a good day. Cool. sub with prime okay so it's not bad but things are gonna fly all over the place in here you need something that you can close see this this would make a nice um, sink countertop is it open on the bottom yeah it's all open on the bottom you could cut this out put a little sink in here it would definitely make a nice uh, nice sink and everything and then you can have your you can have your water, your, your drain down there, and your water over here with the pump. I have been learning a lot by looking at all these stealth vans. Learning a lot about what they have in them and what you need. Learning about space conservation. Ooh, now look at this. Okay, I did not expect that to be in here. Hmm, huh. okay. Oh yeah, this is nice too. Very, very nice. I guess we're at the beach now. Are we at the beach? I guess we're at the beach. Look at this over here. Yeah, so this wouldn't work. This is too open. Way too open. Everything will just roll like that. Oh, let's see what's outside. A fence. It's one of the best fences I've ever seen. I like how they have the windows lit up like that. Woodsy. The nice cabinet. California dreaming. What are you doing, buddy? Hmm? Okay, so these are some nice cabinets, but I'm still looking for the push button open cabinets. That's what a lot of the RVs, the, the stealth vans, a lot of those have that. You know? You never know when you're going to find a sneaky snake. Sneaky snake. I'm a 
sneaky snake. S sneaky S snake. Sneaky snake. Soft closing doors, yes. But there's some that have that little push button lock on them. Police auction has stealth vans. Marcy, how you doing? Oh, look at these over here. These may be the push cabinets because they also use the push cabinets as well. The ones that you push and they open. Looks like these might be the push cabinets. Yep, this is them. This is exactly one of the type of cabinets I was looking for that they use. These right here. See, they close and they won't open. Well, maybe they will open. Open, look at that. This is ideal for RVs because you just shut them and they won't open. Like when you're driving down the road. When you're driving down the road, they won't freaking... Yeah, this, this is one of the nice, one of the things that, uh, this is a small cabinet. Look at that. Yeah, I like that. Look at that. Bam. Perfect. These aren't the exact ones, but these would work. Yeah, look, I'm pulling, I'm pulling super hard and it will not open. Oh, okay. I may have just broke it. Oh, I just, okay. I thought I broke it. Fastback, thank you for the resub. Fastback 57 has subscribed for Bunny Court. Yes. Please buy me a stealth stand relic. <laughs> okay, Fastback. I like the ones that close themselves. I think they look cleaner, cleaner than uh, than having the bungee. Is this what is this? Do? Oh, oh wow, I like this. So how does this work? Is that a magnet or what is that? I don't see a magnet. Is it a magnet? I'm assuming it's some type of magnet. Big Sam, thank you for the resub. Big Sam Sport 20 has subscribed for 20. I did not break it, Rakiri. 20 months. Big Sam, thank you so much for the 20 months. I did not break it. Let's look over here, see what we can find. So we're looking for cabinets with no doors, because we like we like to break doors. Okay, this is nice right here. Hmm, same type of cabinet. Not really. This is too big though. This is way, probably way too big. But these might be good upper cabinets, you know? It's just, I wonder how you handle the curve of the roof. Because this wouldn't, this wouldn't just mount to the roof. You'd have to... I'm not sure how you handle the, the curve of the roof. I'm sure the magnet will last. Basically. Bumpy road would still bounce the doors. You think so? They have the push button doors. Maybe they're like in the uh, garage section. Is that a freaking little shower? What is this? We may have found something else interesting for the stealth van. Is this a little shower? Look at this. Look at this thing. How much is this? It's got a little. You can just psh, 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 do your business, you know? Maybe put a toilet in it. Unity of life might have to shave some corners off the cabinets. You can't see nothing. Oh, the bit rate's bad. Every time I come to this side of the building, the bit rate gets bad. I don't know what's up with this wall. Anytime I get near that wall, the bit rate gets bad. So let me go over here. Evil Salad, how you doing? Good place to do business. Let me try to connect my, uh, let me try to connect my uh, hotspot. See if that'll help us get a little more bit rate. Give me one second. Yeah, we're hurting right now on bitrate. I got one modem that I shut in the car door, and that's really affecting us big time. 
Oh wow, my second modem's not working. Okay, we're down to one modem. Hold on, let me figure out what happened to my other modem. What happened? Hold on. Let me try to figure it out real quick. Yeah, we're we're hurting bad. We're down, we're down to like IKEA has free Wi-Fi here. Let me check to see if there's any free free IKEA Wi-Fi. Luna Momento. I don't see any free uh, wireless wireless ICC. Okay, there's a wireless ICC. Let's see if we can let's see if we can connect to it. Connect. We're gonna try to snag some free free Wi-Fi from IKEA. Okay, it's not one to connect to that. So we'll try we'll try the uh, what the hell happened to oh there it is. Okay, let's try to connect to the other Wi-Fi. Nothing is on the connect. Okay, so I think it's the live view that's having some problems. Now it's stuck completely. Like I, I can't even. I may have to restart the live view. Sometimes it just gets a mind of its own and doesn't want to cooperate. Okay, so hopefully we're working for now because it's not one to do anything. I think my live view is on its last leg. I don't know how much longer it's going to last because because uh, uh, table looks real nice. Up tablecloth looks real nice up close. Evil salad. Let me get a shout out for Evil Salad, y'all. What did you say about 10 weeks to deck out the van? Did she say she would do it? Yeah, she said that they charge like $35,000 to deck out a van. And she said she could do it cheaper than $35,000. Which, I don't know if she understands my concept of the budget I'm trying to stay in for $35,000. Just to, just, to, just to upgrade it, you know? So... You know what I'm talking Okay. Um, this feels. Oh yeah, you're not getting this open. I don't know what this is. I don't think this will open going down the road. Yeah, you're not getting this open. It is. So they seem to be a better. These feel way more solid than the other ones. And they definitely are harder to open. Yeah, I don't think those will open coming down the road. But that I, it seems like these are, is this whole one whole thing or are these sections like, is it, are these, this is all this come apart? Oh, is this one whole freaking thing? Oh, I think it's all one thing. Well, that's no good. Way too big. I thought it came in, no, it does come in sections. Look right here. You can get any piece you want. Oh, 
wow yeah you can get any piece you want so these right here these little uh these 2x these cabinets these little um these little cabinets here these are 70 dollars for these cabinets and you can get them by themselves and they're they're very uh very secure to lock in place they're 70 dollars you got the big ones down here these the same type and they are where are they where are they oh no I think these are uh, these are oh wait a minute okay this oh oh the ones on the bottom are a hundred and nine dollars so these these push cabinet things on the bottom are hundred and nine dollars and these are seventy dollars for the for the set um, okay we'll just leave that like that I didn't do it it was already like that I did not break it diggity dog I did not break it y'all need to calm down I didn't break anything. I'm going to walk this way. <laughs> Fixings. I didn't break anything. What about these? Oh, never mind. These don't close. <laughs> oh. Oh, it opens. Okay. Yeah, they gotta have them here. I bet they're in more of the like the industrial feel or where the metal stuff is. Does, does, does IKEA have anything made out of metal? Shardy pants, read me. They pump the sound of the kids screaming in IKEA. I wanna go, yeah. Fishy, how you doing? Just got here. Are we getting meatballs? Maybe. Maybe. Maybe, maybe we'll get some, try out the meatballs. See, they got all these, I thought that was a real cat looking at me at first. They got all, all kinds of modular. See, do y'all think these would work in the top of a, the top of, I like this color. I like this color. Do y'all think these up here would work as top cabinets on a, on a stealth van? those right there how much are those these are 69 top top cabinet 69 they just don't have any doors on them be nice if they had like little doors connect paul we get the van cat hell no day off how you doing Check out places that make furniture for yachts. They're experts. Yes, but I, I don't have yacht budget. <laughs> Not a static. Cabinets for the pimp van, yes. Field of Kush, everything will slide out. First turn you take, yes. I don't have yacht budget. Mike, how you doing? Unicorn Pancakes, how you doing? Uh, get the doors separate. You have to uh, cable and put a basket. That's true. People put these baskets right here, like this, and they put a bungee cord across. I see that in a lot of uh, van videos. They'll put these little, these little boxes like this where they have all their stuff in, like this, and they'll put like a screw over here with a hook with a bungee, and they'll run it all the way across here. And they'll have like this with the little cabinets with the bungees. I don't know if that really looks the best, but maybe some of these right here with the hole in it y'all see anything in there before i grab it i don't want to get in trouble if something bites me mm, it smells like it smells like hay oh god it smells like hay k4 matt how you doing oh my god Woo. bit rates bad
Susie Q, how you doing? Don't have to use bungee cord. Just use a metal cord or rope. To make it, make it from Hobby Lobby. Okay. So, see what kind of, they do have a lot of cabinets. Why is there freaking chicken going up? They do have a lot of cabinets here. I just, they're not what I'm. They're not the ones I was looking for. I was looking for the ones that you see in like a, in like a uh, garage. Maybe they have them. Maybe we just haven't got to that section yet. Or maybe like metal kitchen cabinets. Why is there always a screaming kid in here? I don't even see a kid, but I've been hearing screaming the whole freaking time. Why? These aren't bad. I like these. I don't like the color, but I like these are only these are only twenty nine dollars, y'all. Look at that. Only twenty nine freaking dollars for metal. freaking months. Anonymous Static, thank you for the 23 months. Robin Silva, thank you for the follow. You could rubber band them shut. Oh, you're right. You could just put something across here so they can't open. Like, put them together. Or will they? These will definitely fly open, but I like the look of this. The metal. Then put a child lock on it. Mosky B will rattle the hell in the back. First date tomorrow. <laughs> Taz, how you doing? Did you get the van? No, we're gonna we're gonna end up probably getting a a different van. But that is not funny. This is solid. That's solid. I like this too. You you see a lot of you see this setup right here, this exact setup in a lot of in a lot of stealth vans. It's narrow. I don't know how many I've looked at on YouTube and they have this exact same, this exact same uh, shelving setup. They like this because it's got the holes in it. Look, they like to stick the bungee cords right in these holes, take them over, stick them in that hole. You see a lot of these, a lot of this uh, cabinet. Then they got these cabinets which are kind of, the cabinet can't go anywhere. Hmm. I wouldn't want to hear this going down the road the whole time. Can you imagine driving down the road and we're streaming and y'all are hearing this for like four hours? Gotta have shelves. For the, what the hell, Anonymous? Not the only thing they stick in it. You can, you even need a kitchen. I don't think you're doing any cook, cooking. We never know. Like once we get on the road, we may, we may put some, we may leave and have some steaks or something in the in off in the off in the van and uh do a little bit of steak grilling out in the middle of nowhere because sometimes we're going to be places where there's no restaurants the whole purpose of getting this van is to get the hell like get like go to places that there's no service only starlink works and if we're those type of places there's not going to be anywhere to eat more than likely so this is nice how is this open? Oh, it just... Okay, never mind. It's not nice. I swear, these freaking crying babies. Now, how is this $400? Whoa, what okay. was that? And then, where do I stick it? Which hole, though? Which hole does it go in? What? So I'll see it hanging, and I just need to stick it in that hole. What? Okay, all right. What the hell was that even? What was that even? STP, the rubber band trick on the cabinet pulls good. I do that with my kitchen cabinets, keep the cat from opening them. Nice. You're building a van, not a storage room. <laughs> I'm building a van, not a storage room. Those are expensive. Just go to Walmart. I think this is for something. I don't know what it is. It says you can get the combination for $4.45. I don't know what the combination is. The combination is the cabinet of four, a cabinet of two, a cabinet of 12, a cabinet of four, 
where's where's the 12 cabinet at it's a bunch of cabinets we don't we don't need that many cabinets like we don't need that many cabinets now i'm gonna tell y'all i do like the look of these cabinets here i love the look of these look at that look at these top cabinets they're shiny Yeah, these are these are on point. They're not too big. Oh. Yeah, that's pretty nice. I like those. They're nice and shiny. Too many holes, too many cabinets. Go off King's Relic Army stands together. Hell yeah, Ed Flo, we do. Hell yeah, we do. Love the Go Off Kings check for the password I don't like white cabinets you're building a house now say it with me a van not a storage van <laughs> Airbnb in New Orleans will sell you there no I do not want their freaking Airbnb Canuck Paul he looked like a, a where'd your name go where the hell did your name go he looked like a a dang creature. He looked like a dang creature. Oh, we got some go-off kings in here representing. What? What? Can you get a shout-out for the go-off kings? They're one of the few streamers that showed me love back when I was a clown. Well, I'm still a clown, but I'm not wearing my other face. They didn't care that I was a clown. They always showed me love regardless. <coughs> oh, Lord. So how much is this hand? This hand is uh, fifteen dollars. If you want a, a hand that you can like do things with, you know. Put that right there. Good job. Audit Empire. Thank you. Thank you. Seven seven zero two. Thank you. Palm tree. Palm tree. That hand can do wonders, Goalie. Relic Army is the best. Motley Crew, how you doing? Okay, let's see. We knew you were 12. <laughs> not, not that funny. Slick stuff, neat stuff. Thank you for the sub. My name is Optimus Prime. Bring that hand to pick up your Slick deposit. Slick stuff, neat stuff, just resubbed for one freaking month with Twitch Prime. Slick stuff, neat stuff. Thank you for the Twitch Prime. Yeah, we definitely don't want glass in the van. No glass. Switch stuff, sweet, slick stuff, neat stuff. Thank you so much. Family show. It is a family show, Raven. It's a family show. I'm just waving. It's waving. He's not 12. He's just a dude. I would have done that too. Did you buy the... What is this? What is this? It's $3, whatever this is. Anybody know what this is for? It's hanging from a rope. Hmm. Okay. Ooh, now I like these two right here. I love this color. It's just too big. Like this is way too wide, too big, too bulky. But I, I like the look of this too. I, li I like no handles. Wait a minute. How do, where do I go? Am I? Oh, we keep going this way. Wait a minute. Oh, we go this way. Okay. I was lost. Oh, look at all this stuff in the middle. Did we check this out? Oh, we checked. Oh, we got to go to this side. Have you eaten at Giyaku Japanese barbecue off Gray Street? I have not. Charlie Pants. I give up. LED lights. We just got them installed at my job. Nice. You find the mini van mini No, Woodsy. No. I am not lost. Amazon too. I think that hanging thing is what you hand cut. What the hell, Kanupal? What the, what in the hell? Okay, see this is more traditional stuff with handles and doorknobs. We don't want handles and doorknobs. You can get a sideboard for one ninety nine. This thing. 
It's called a sideboard. Not a cyborg, a sideboard. Okay. Genidia, what the hell? What the hell? These are books, shelves for the library, okay. The library. The library. Ooh, look at all the glass over here. Oh, these are like trophy cases. I've never won anything, so I don't need a trophy case. <laughs> I don't have any trophies. Not even one trophy. Must be nice. Must be nice to have the need to buy one of these. I didn't even get a particip participation ribbon. <laughs> or maybe these are for dishes. I know some people like to display their dishes. You're fine. You're fine. You'll send me a trophy. Thank you so much. You can't even say participation. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god precipitation ribbon wow they've, they've glued the horses down so y'all really think this takes an hour alright somebody start the timer we're going to see if this really takes an hour Mario Terras. I feel sorry now. <laughs> Tiny horse display case. Okay. Creepy Hollow collects more trophies than a serial killer at these conferences. Quit your crying. <laughs> you can use it to display your little dashboard toys. That's true, Connect Paul. Okay, so we might come back in an hour to see what that's at. This is called the Billy bookcase right here, y'all. If you've ever wanted to buy the Billy, you can buy the Billy today for $179. Kendall Hill one shared. X100. At Relic, have you watched the show Van Gogh on Magnolia Network? I have not. So some of you may want to have a case to display your herbs, right? Like you may want to uh, display your herbs and stuff. Or some of you just may need a lot of a lot of hands in your life. You can buy all the hands you want. Like, if you ever need a hand, there's lots of hands here you could buy. And ferns. Lots of ferns. This is a, the, a case for your herbs. Or, or you, can, you can do like this, you know, your, your basketball championship, your football championship. <laughs> Never got those, but you could do that right here you can display it like that for $99 everybody can know that you were an all-star okay this might be what we're looking for right here is this a locker what is this or is this a filing cabinet oh it just flies open these are like hmm okay like the fancy locker system I guess huh so a locker system is is three hundred dollars for a locker system how to use the smart lock well wait a minute what it's got a smart lock hold on install your Rofoff smart lock two master key cards operate the smart lock for using the extra card on your smartphone unlock with your phone what these lockers open up with your phone what they open up with your phone so these won't open I mean they're they're like I guess this is a big magnet in it I guess you can't I guess I guess these are made so people can't steal your stuff if you're like these are like in a public area but you use your phone app to lock and unlock these that's pretty neat 
They're big and bulky though, but that's still a neat concept, you know? Brandon Gotti, how you doing? Rising up. How you doing, rising up? Uh, Brandon Gotti, what's the point of this channel? Uh, currently, we are uh, we mostly eat food, and that's pretty much an excuse to stream is to eat food. But when we're not eating food, we're doing urban exploration. And we're also working on trying to put together a stealth van, so I'm kind of looking at uh, looking at options for pre-made pre-made furniture pieces that could potentially go inside a stealth van. And drink ranch, yes, we eat and drink ranch. Let's see. Oh, look at these. This. Oh my god. Shit. I didn't. Okay, we'll just leave that alone. Just leave that alone. We'll go over here to the next set. Yeah, there's bad service against that wall. I don't know what's. They must have something against that wall that interferes with our signal. I am not breaking anything. I have not broken anything. Okay, let's go this way. Hmm. Oh, wow. Look, oh, look at this. Holy moly. What the hell? Are we flying planes? What are we doing? Oh. Okay, let me, let me try to fix the, the Wi-Fi. See if I can get it working. I did not think we would have bad service in here. But uh, let me try to fix it, see what's going on. Okay, I'm still stuck on this screen. I may have to restart my live view. So what I'm gonna do real quick, y'all, I'm going to restart.
but that breaks down to restart. Mm. Well, this my my um live view is just acting all kinds of weird, y'all. Like it, it is not. I don't know what's going on with it. Like and we're struggling. We got one modem working now. Um, we're struggling bad with our modems. So, I'm trying to see if I can get my other modem on. Had to refresh. All the concrete and metal reactable? Probably. But I can't even get my, uh, I can't even connect to Wi-Fi. Stealth fan in the Bella Box incoming. Shout out to Down South. How you doing? Rocket Redman, how you doing? It's all the magnets, yeah. Probably all the freaking magnets. Yeah, we're struggling. We're on one modem now. We're, we're just, I can't even connect to my hotspot, which is just weird, you know? And the, the free IKEA shows up on my phone, the free IKEA uh, internet, but it won't show up on the live view. The live view won't pick it up for whatever reason. So we'll just try to stay away from that wall over there and hope we can survive. I don't know what's going on with all this. It's not good. So maybe my other modem will kick in in a minute. You know. Great thing about the magical live view. Okay. We were going to game a little bit, but... I didn't want to like show everybody up, so. Yeah. Here we go. Hmm. Okay. We back. Everything looking good. Check out their PC. I wonder if that's for sale. G Force RTX. Hmm. I'm surprised they even have a graphic card or anything in there. I, I was expecting it to just be a shell. I guess it actually works. Does it actually boot up? It's nice. Slick case. Oh shit, it does boot up. What? Ooh, they got some RGB lighting in it. Nice. LSD like before. It's it's this area we're in, so let me keep walking and see if I can get away from it. I guess we're in a concrete building surrounded by metal and magnets. So let's try to see if we can get to a different area where it clears up a little bit for y'all. Potty Harry, how you doing? Ikea is a no-go. Yeah, if I could just get connected to their Wi-Fi, it would be good. But it doesn't seem like that's going to happen either. There's a door. Maybe that'll help clear us up. Boy Hancock, how you doing? I'm at a door. Does that, does that bring us any signal? Are you buying the Ladies Van Pale uh, Watchman? No, no, we're not gonna buy it. Oh my, oh my, how you doing? I, Ikea hacked us. We do worse at the, at the, at the door. Kitchens. Holy moly. I like the look of those vent hoods. 
I think they look nice. better now I'm just Will Kappa Ikea blocking the signal trying to keep the meatball recipe a secret what do y'all think about this it's on sale for 340 nice nice so do you have to vent these out of your roof or are they are they just what like are they are they like do you have to cut a hole in your ceiling and vent them somewhere Bo Hancock, how you do it? Lucy and Sus, how you doing? A roller chair is nice, especially if you have a low top van. Dr. Chronic, yes. I've seen I've seen people with the chairs if it's low top. So they don't have to crawl crawl around. Hmm. Okay. We're getting into the basket area. Lots of little baskets. Oh, okay, this is starting to look like some small modular stuff that we might see in a in a stealth van, like right here. Just for fart fan, what the hell? Kendall Hill, thank you for the hundred biddies. Okay. I still have not found the cabinets that I thought they had here, though. I thought they had the ones that had the button where it's like a... I don't know what you call it. There's like a button you press. And when you don't press it, it keeps it locked. And, and you can't open it without pressing that button. Not the push ones. Not the ones you push to open. But the ones that have the button that locks it. You want to build your own van? That's what it's looking like. Uh, Cinder, I passed. It was uh, too many things that they found. Man, check this out. It don't look bad. Nice kitchen. You can get this kitchen for for eight thousand dollars. You can get this kitchen. You can get some blueberry muffins, all that good stuff, and you can cook and just walk straight to bed, pass out with the food on your on your stomach. Yes, and there, uh, I wanted it really bad, but uh, we sent the lemon squad over there and they found some other stuff. And I took the report to a mechanic and they told me that it could be, you know, once they start digging into it, it could uh, end up being costly. And so I decided to uh, probably end up building my own. That's why I'm at Ikea looking. See if there's any pre-made stuff that will make that will make that easier you know Calfago how you doing let's find the screaming, ba screaming baby hmm oh it's nice it's real nice we're probably gonna F in the shower there's all these pieces of metal here Sell the couch. Let's find the screaming baby. It turned out to be a Cartafago. Yeah. You know, you don't know until you go look at them, you know, and get them checked out. And I was really hoping for the best because I, I'm, I really like, I thought that was the one, you know. I was like, this has to be the van because it had everything I needed. All the solar I mean, it had a shower, it had a toilet, like it, it had everything that I wanted, the wish list. But, you know, I just don't want to get, <laughs> thank you for the follow. Gibbs, Gibbs, we did not get the van, so currently I've changed direction and I'm thinking about building out my own. I think that's where I'll get the most value because... It seems like once people build them out, they think that the value of them has increased by like triple. And uh, I just don't know if that's 
the case a lot of times, you know what I'm saying? Because if they're not mechanically sound, the uh, build doesn't matter. You know, I don't want to buy a van and stream from my driveway. And be like, hey everybody, we got this awesome freaking van. We can't drive anywhere. So I'm going to do the van life in my driveway. Come along for the journey. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Building my own be satisfying. One thing about building your own, if something goes wrong with it, you put it together yourself. And you can tr probably troubleshoot a lot easier than if you get one pre-built and you're trying to figure out where this wire goes to, where that goes to. Something's leaking or something's clogged up or whatever. You pretty much know how it was put together, so I think you may you may end up uh, you know being able to fix it faster than trying to troubleshoot. Green screen. Oh. Some does in this house. There's some does in this house. There's some does in this house. There's some does in this house. Fifty dollar does right there. Some fifty dollar does. The Madiger. See, we're looking for van furniture. Uh, Madiger, I'm supposed to get the deposit back tomorrow. So we're just here at Ikea looking for some. These are some thin cabinets, y'all. Look how thin these cabinets. What is this? Is that, whoa. Is that a, what the hell is this? Is that a. What? Oh, it's for shoes. Mm. Well, I don't carry that many shoes with me, so I don't need a whole a whole cabinet for shoes. I thought this was for spices, like you put your spices or your bottles in here and you just close it because it's very low profile. Look how thin that thin that cabinet is. And I don't think your stuff will fall out, huh? If it weighs down the bottom. Clown mask cabinet. What if she keeps the deposit? I don't think she will. I don't think she'll keep the deposit. She's already asked me for the address of where I want to meet her at to get it. And I asked her what time she's going to be here tomorrow so, so we can get the uh, deposit back. What is this? Oh, wow. Oh, this is like a... Is this for papers? Hmm. All kinds of little... And I can get this to do my makeup every morning in the, in the van. You know, we all need one of these. Used to build ambulances, and let me tell you, it's not a walk in the park. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I know. Not going to be easy. It may look a little wonky, but, you know, it's okay. It's okay. That's why I'm looking for as much pre-made stuff as I can find, you know? Pre-made on a budget. Maybe I'll just make these my shelves. This is very easy to install. You just hang it from the roof. I'll just put a bunch of these in the van. And when I'm driving around, it'll be like this. I'm sure my stuff will stay in there, but... Or maybe... Whatever this is. What is this? Anybody know what this is? It's a sports league. Ball storage. Oh! This is to store your balls. Well, I don't really have any balls um, to store in the van, so I don't need ball storage. So we'll just leave that there. Blue balls. Is that a sneaky snake? It, oh, no, no, that's not a snake. That's a. Everything is stuck. They've, they've got all this stuff glued. It's a, it's a, uh, whatever these things are called. I thought it was a snakehead at first. Mesh clothes hamper. Definitely not a snake. Look at this. This could be my bed for the van right here. $119, y'all. Complete bed for the van right there. Man, I did not think we would find a bed here. I can get a bed with a, with a leaf on top of it. For $250. And I can have like a leaf shade. Bigfoot. Oh, look at this bed. Maybe I'll get one of these. It's dinosaurs. 
and I can just cover both ends and put a fan in the, at the end of it to keep myself cool. Fly tree to fly. Little foot. Oh, we're in the we're in the miniature section where the miniatures are. The miniature furniture. Okay. Lots of stuffy animals. So y'all been wanting me to get the meatballs all day, so let's see what they taste like. Meatballs are, they got veggie balls, plant balls, and Swedish meatballs, but they're closed. $7.99, you get 12 meatballs for $7.99, or you can get 8 meatballs for $6.99. Or you can get veggie garlic chipotle veggie balls for $5.99 alright so uh, no, none of that for us probably going to have worse service down here I don't know if we're still alive or not we're not getting the best service in the Ikea Probably on the second floor, it's going to be even worse. Ba -ba -bum 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 -bum. I'm loving it. Devin Designs. This is Ikea, yes. But I think we're going to be right back screen. This is all dishes. We don't need any dishes. We don't need any cutting boards. Cal Sup, how you doing? Oh, what is this? What is this? This is an air purifier. What? I thought it was a drum. These are all air purifiers. Okay, these are all lights. These are lights. More lights. Lights. Many, 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 many lights. Lie, truth, lie. Can you hear me? Firefighter Fritz, how you doing? More hands. They really like the hands here at the Ikea. probably going to end up finding the cabins out here in the outside area. They do have an outside area. It's more like a warehouse. Okay. Now we're out to the shelf area. Maybe we'll get some signal out here. I think maybe we'll have service out here because it's just open. It's kind of like being in a Home Depot out here. It's just nothing but shelves. I don't know if there's anything out here to really, that we're looking for. To the right is rugs. Forward is lawn furniture. Lawn furniture. I can't believe they don't have those specific cabinets here that I was talking about. 
There's some cabinets, but they're not the right ones. Hmm. Well, maybe they don't have them. Better. Well, look at you. A bunch of tigers hiding out inside the closet. Kind of back. Hmm. This is furniture, futons, chairs, furniture, futons, chairs. Hmm. These are too deep. Way too deep. Okay. Hmm. Yeah. It sucks that we could we I had to walk really fast through the second half. It's just I knew y'all couldn't see anything and I was like, well, if you can't see anything, I'm gonna just keep walking. Now, these are computer desks. Hmm. Okay. Well. Oh, let's look at the scratch and dent section. Hopefully we don't F in here. These are things that are damaged that you can get for for cheaper. Cheaper. Are we still here? Reflective sur surfaces in dimension 3.5. Nice. Medicated gaming, how you doing? So you can get you a... Hmm. Now this is not a bad desk for a... Like for a little desk to go to the side. This is actually pretty good. Oh, this is good too. This is narrow too. Only $60, man. Yeah. Or is this permanently here? Oh no. They just got it screwed to the wall, I guess. Yeah, 60 bucks for that one. That's not bad. Can you kind of see? So, a couple, couple of things in here, but nothing to just drive you crazy. I don't know what is going on with my service. Is it already dark outside? So, we're down to one modem, which sucks. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm just barely hopping by, and my my uh, backpack will not connect to any Wi-Fi. Not even. How do I get out of here? Everything's chained up. It won't even connect to my hotspot, which is like crazy. Jump up and down, it might help. ABC.1 Imagine Technology 010 Nanotechnology. They don't have free Wi Fi. The Wi Fi shows up on my phone, but it won't show up on the live view. The live view is acting very, uh, the live view is acting very, very finicky today. I don't know why. Something's going on with it. So, Zazi AI is now data moshing. Okay. Deagle, how you doing? So hopefully we have some type of service out here because that would suck if we don't have any service outside. Let me check our bit rate real quick. See what we're working with now that we're out here. I still have 450 bit rate. What? It went down when we went outside? That doesn't make sense. How does our bit rate go down? Minecraft IKEA. Culpable 6709 has subscribed for 28 freaking months. It's like him looking on you walking around here in Sweden. All IKEAs look the same. <laughs> Culpable, hell yeah. Thank you for the resub. It's getting better now. Okay. Hey, I was trying to take over everything. All right, so I guess we'll go eat somewhere. It's 8.30, so everything should still be open. 
man our bit rate is still suffering y'all like when we get in the car i have to figure out what's going on because the bit rate is just just terrible like i do not know what's happening right now even with one modem we should have more than 400 bit rate like that's just crazy where are we parked at broken modem must be hurting the quality yeah that was one of my main modems that i depended on you know what i'm saying like that was like the backbone when all the other modems fell that modem would always come through you know Luka, Luka, how you doing? Uh, the uh, van in Dallas, we decided not to get it. A little too much, uh, a little too much risk involved, you know. A little too much risk involvement. So, let's try to get y'all put back up. What's wrong with the Be Right back screen? Y'all don't have a, uh, y'all don't have a Be Right back screen? Is there no Be Right back videos? Is there no Be Right back? Is everything just messing up or what? Mr. Synapse. Let's see here. Why is my stomach all of a sudden? I was just surrounded by, I was just surrounded by places to use the restroom. I get here in my car, and now my stomach wants to act a fool. Where is Synapse at? Oh, there you go. just send a message we'll see if that works let me uh let me plug in my power because i am my phone's dying i don't know why it shouldn't be dying um so let me uh plug this in and then we'll try to figure out what's wrong with the modem. Mom F1 R3 flight geared. X100. Mama Firefly, thank you for the 100 biddies. Hi May, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the stream. I know this is probably not, um, Probably not what we wanted to see was no service, but let me figure out my other modem real quick and try to see what it's doing. Did you get another stealth van? Uh, I'm supposed to get my... Hunter Demons, how you doing? I'm supposed to get my... Um, don't say you need a new phone, too. I'm supposed to get my deposit back tomorrow, um, and so now I'm probably looking at doing a build-out because... Um, um, I just don't know if I'm going to find anything that's halfway decent. Um, that's already built out 
that's that's in the price range, you know. And so maybe it's better to try to find something that something that's somewhat affordable, but at the same time leaves me a little bit of room to do a build out. So we'll try that and see if that works. Okay, we got we got connection to my Wi-Fi, so that's good. So maybe our bit rate will go up. Getting an empty one and building it probably is what we're going to end up doing. Yes, more than likely, my my uh, my hotspot's verified now. Maybe it wasn't working because we were just inside there. I don't know. Let's see if it see if it connects. Then we'll have two connections. You know what to do with that big fat butt? Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. It will not connect. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Hunter Demons has subscribed for 40 freaking months. Hunter Demons, thank you for the 40 months. Maybe it's just the area we're in. Let's get out of this area because. Looking online for vans, but the market is tough. Yeah, I found one for. Um, I, th I found what I think is a decent one. They'll take 10 for it. Um, I think they'll take 10 for it. And so, pillow face smuggler, what happened to the van? Uh, we just, we just, um, I don't think it's the right fit. You know, I just, I think that, uh, I just don't want to risk it, you know? No, the problem with the stream is there's the cell service. Like, there's no cell service. My two modems are not, they're, they're saying there's just no service here. So, I think if we get out of this area, I don't know if Ikea, all this metal, I don't know what the hell's going on. I've never tried to stream at Ikea before. So, I don't know if it's an issue with all the metal or what's going on right now with all this. But, it's saying that there's, uh, Hunter Demons, thanks so much for the resub. It's saying that there is, uh... It's saying that there is um will you dance with me what the hell and I'm never gonna dance again buy a new modem I ordered a new modem so hopefully that comes in yeah we're we're, we're, we're struggling bad with modems and connection and it, it's just we're struggling okay So I don't know if this place is any good. I've never, I've never heard of it before. Hello, I'm just live on Twitch. Can I help you? Do what? Hold on, hold on. I gotta put you on speaker. I gotta put you on speaker because I can't hear you. Oh, okay. Go ahead. Hey, I'm just letting you know that Clown Hotel Two is live on Amazon Prime. Is it on Amazon Prime? Yeah, it's on Amazon Prime. Wow. Wow. You know what? I have Amazon Prime. So does yeah, that mean know. does that mean with Amazon Prime I can go watch Clown Motel 2 for free? And while you're at it, why don't you subscribe to the Relic channel? Yeah, that's what I'm saying, but if if it's if it's Amazon Prime, does that mean I can go watch it for free on Amazon? I believe I believe so. Wow. And if you don't have Amazon Prime, it's only four dollars for rent. Wow! So if you don't have Amazon Prime, you can still watch it for only four dollars. Mm -hmm, four dollars. Wow! Mm -hmm. Have you ever heard of a buffet called? It just has the word buffet. <laughs> Hold on, I think I think there's a name on the other side. Have you ever eaten at the buffet in front of Kia? Uh, Kia? I mean, I, 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 Ikea. Ikea or Kia? Ikea. It's called the Ranchero King Buffet. That is very confusing. Because uh, usually buffets are like Chinese. Yeah, this says, this says it's the Ranchero King Buffet. Do you get like shrimp fried 
tacos? Are you serious, Mario? They spelled my freaking name wrong in the credits. Are you serious? Oh, I'm about to yes. kick some. What? You knew that? No. Oh, you need to call up Homeboy right now and be like, you need to learn how to spell. Mario says they spelled my name right. How do they spell it? R E L I K. Oh, they meant they meant still at the nail. Obviously. <laughs> why? Why are you laughing? Huh? Why are you laughing? That's funny. IMDB says Relic is seven foot tall. I've been are telling you? you that you're deaf. I am seven foot tall. Yes. With the stilettos. <laughs> you need that premiere. Uh, so yeah, it's, it's now on Amazon Prime. We told you it's that ten years ago. Okay, action. they they said it's spelled wrong on IMDb. I don't know if it's spelled wrong on the mo on the oh, movie that itself. IMDb, then that's that's on you. That no, 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 you. no. They have a clown motel IMDb oh, where oh, they then. put the name wrong. I will let him know to change it. Yes, th let him know he needs to update that, please. Yes, okay, I so I don't know about this buffet because I think the only people here are the employees. Like, I don't see any customers. I think this is just employees' cars. So I don't know if this is a place that... that You might want to go check it out. Yeah. I think if it's not sketchy, it might be that good. I don't think it's good. Ikea has a lot of customers, and none of them are stopping here. Because <laughs> you know? they're all lost in there. Yep, yep. It's a maze. They're not, they're not going to get out of there until dawn. All right. Well, I'm going to holler at you. I'll call you later. All right, bye. Bye. Meow, 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 Why is my thing not working? Texas Hula coming in with the raid. Can we get a shout out for Texas Hula? Thank you so much. I don't know why my stuff is not working. Uh, it says I'm connected. Why is it not working? Can we get a shout out for Texas Hula? Thank you so much for the raid. I hope y'all had a great, great stream. Tough SOB, how you doing? Um, I know what to do with that big fat butt. Yeah, I'm back. Thank you for the resub. Diamond underscore back underscore D has subscribed for 18 freaking months. Diamond back D. Hello, Relic. Thank you so much for the, oh God, what did I just do? Beta. Thank you so much for the, um, thank you so much for the resub. I'm trying to get my thing connected. Uh, let's see. Did that work? Wazio, how you doing? Why is my thing not connecting to Jeep to, why is it not connecting? Um, is something playing? Hold on. Is there any music playing? Where my boots is? Oh. Texas Hula, did you have a great stream? Would you like to? No, I don't want to disconnect. My, uh... Oh, that sucks, Halloween. Susie Q, how you doing? Oh Lord. Why is my thing not working? 345? Oh Lord. You're up late. Okay. Did it work? It's I'm doing good. Is that light flickering? Where? Where? Okay. Coca Cola Mommy says, Hello, love HRU. Coca Cola Mommy, how you doing? There we go. Texas Hula, I hope you had a great raid. I mean, a great raid. I hope you had a great raid. Medicated okay. Gaming says they have oh, a pill well. to help your thing work again if it's having trouble working relic. Thank you, Medicated Gaming. I'll look into that. Do Thank you. says he try and find some cheap built-ins for his potential future van and not by the lady. 
Oh lord. Chikorita corn asks a donde vamos? Uh, a comer chikorita. House of 12 says feels like Christmas. Feels like Christmas. Watchman 360 says we can't hear it. You can't hear what? Texas Hula says it was good bud. Nice Texas Hula, Robin nice. Robin says meow 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 meow. It's a Mario says I doc made partner. It's a Mario. Wow, she did. That's nice. Says, Hello, Relic. Hope you're doing well. Crochet, I'm doing great. How you doing? PMG says having a great great hello. Don <laughs> 6709 says hi, Relic. Love you. Love you too, Don. <sighs> okay, let me figure out where the hell I am. Where am I? Gary Moss 420 says Relic. Do you keep toys on the dash so it looks like you have kids to make thieves think there is nothing of value in car? <laughs> That's a good idea. Rita Corn says, "Ah, bueno, vamos a comer." Si. Spectre 326 says, "Hey, at Relic, where are we at?" Uh, we are Spectre. We are. Nine says, "Sup at Crochet 70." We were just at IKEA. Calcip 12 says, "Shall we eat wings, bro?" Wings sounds good. J M Warner 30 says, "Love ya at Relic." Love you too, J M Warner. Crochet 70 says, "I want to do the two stone." Tetra should we give the crochet 70 a freaking sub. Let's get some hype. Seven foot tall, booster boy. Can we get some hype for Texas Hula dropping that gift and sub? Why is Potty Mouth Donna such a sweet angel? A sweet angel? I don't know what. Robin, love you too. Spectre 326 yells, wait, the title, IKEA Furniture? Yes, we just. We, yeah, we just left Ikea. 70 says, Thanks, Hula, for the gift sub. We just, yeah, we just left Ikea. Yeah, boy, I'm sweet heart and spin. I will do the hold down and get into it. Culpable 6709. Golden Fox Eye has gifted one freaking sub to viewers. Let's get some hype. Golden Fox Eye has gifted a lot of freaking subs in this channel. Ooh, chicken wings would sound nice. Let's see if there's anywhere to eat wings around here. Hold on. One second. Meow, 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 meow. Meow, 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 meow. Meow, 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 meow. Meow, 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 meow. I don't see wings anywhere. Meow, 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 meow. Is there any wings? Is there any wings? Is there any wings around here? I like some wings. You like some wings. I like some wings. You like some wings. I like some wings. I like some wings. Where, oh, where are the wings? Pluckers? What? What is Pluckers? Okay. Buffalo Wild Wings. Have we been to Buffalo Wild Wings before? Buffalo Wild Wings. Kendra, thank you for the follow. Golden Fox Eye, thank you so much for gifting that sub. Golden Fox Eye, thank you for the gifted sub. Wing House. Is it? But it's too far away. I don't want to go where? Spectre 326 says we have a chicken franchise here in Jersey called Cluck U. Cluck U? <laughs> oh, Pluckers. I don't want to go to Pluckers. Says B -Dub has good wings. Army Vet 007 says Buffalo Wild Wings on Thursday has half price boneless wings. Really? Says, did you manage to do the channel point thing at Relic? XX uh, Kansas Buns XX. No. <laughs> are wings actual wings? 
No, they aren't. They're not wings. Boop's mom says, damn son. Boop's mom, how you doing? JM Werner 30 says, MBWW. The Riffs KC asks, hey boss man, got a question for you. Did you ever get me some Buckies? Some Buckies? Courtney Man 85 says, yes. Yes. Let's see here. Buffalo Wow Wings. Robin Crone says, what the frick a tea frick you talking about? What in about? a frick? There's Wingstop, but I don't think Wingstop has a place to eat inside, do they? Wingstop is like, um, Wingstop is like pickup wings, right? I don't think they have inside eating. I don't know how many times I've ever eaten Wingstop now that I think about it. XX Kansas Buns XX says if there isn't a bone in it, it's not a wing. Papa U, Poke Bowls. Courtney Man. <laughs> My name is Optimus Prime. Twisted Genie just resubbed for 40 freaking months with Twitch Prime. Twisted Genie, thank you so much for the resub. Iron Tear, thank you for the follow. I no idea you have been in movies as well at Relic. Kenny Rada, thank you for the follow. Baby Fran says I have eaten there and sat down. No idea you've been in movies? Yeah. We have, we have, a, we have a few more movies coming out. Do think says, doesn't matter, it's Bogo at BBW. Bogo at BBW. XX Kansas Buns XX says, lol, yup, nuggets at Army what is, 007. What does BBW stand for? Do think says, we all know he can put down meat lol. What, what the hell? What, what is BBW? Okay, it says make a U-turn and a quarter of a mile, okay. What's BBW? Boop's mom says Ty Carrot. Ty Carrot. Post W says ha 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 ha. <laughs> Mandy Melanakis says you passed the Asian food court. Asian food court? Where? But shouldn't that be WWB? Shouldn't that be BWW? Why? BWW. So says Relic needs blazing hot why? at BWW. Why does it? Why is it called BBW? But people were putting. Says what our gifting subs mean. Pe people were putting BBW. It means that you get a free sub to the channel if someone gives you a sub. Says BBW equals Big Bright Willy. <laughs> BBW. The Riffs KC asks not to be rude, but where in the hell are we? We are in Southwest Houston. Houston, Texas. The Riffs. Murky Dirk says big beautiful wings. Big beautiful wings. CB okay. Two hundred forty says West Houston off I ten. Yeah, I guess we're more west than southwest. Says thank you. At Robin Cron. We have to be in 59 to be southwest. We're on I-10, so yeah, we're we're more west than southwest. Robin Crone says they call it B-dubs here. I don't know why. B-dubs. I guess the dub stands for double double B Sparky double. Toaster says I said a hip hop, a hippity hop. I guess it's, <laughs> I guess it stands for double W's. Double Mandy W's B-dubs. says get their new chicken strip hot dogs. Chicken strip hot dogs? What? This does not look like a big, big uh, Buffalo Wild Wings. Is that front row parking? No. Oh, okay. Mistress Pink says that looks like a stretch of I-10, but I don't recognize anything there anymore. It's been too long. Too long. JM Werner 30 says love the Asian Zing Sauce. Asian Zing Booster Sauce. Booster Boy 83 says interesting. Guess I have to check that clown motel too at Relic. Yep, yep. JKB83404 says Buffalo Wild Wings is called B Dubs here too. B Dubs. The Riffs KC says Relic, my dude. I am so freaking excited for next month, man. I am really, really drones in for some hot acting right now. Hell yeah, that's Twisted what I'm talking Katie about. Says, Big beautiful women, BBW. Big beautiful women. Chippin242 says hello. Why did the chicken cross the road? Why did the chicken cross the road? Like parm garlic or lemon pepper wet. Lemon pepper wet. JKB eighty three thousand four hundred four says it's a good evening party spot. Oh, nice. Okay, let me um 
get y'all connected and see if we can get a table. This doesn't look like a big restaurant, but maybe it's bigger on the inside than what it looks on the outside. Hopefully they have seating for us. Gary Madden says could be big butt women. Big butt Racer women. Civic says solar to a power bank of some sort is going to be the most expensive part of a bill. But you get a great learning experience. So we're only at 600 bit rate, y'all. says mango habanero sauce is my favorite. The Riffs KC says I just finished having some damn good smokehouse barbecue up here in KC for you. Relic. Nice, the Riffs, nice. Mistress Mink says, oh, okay. I moved away from Houston many years ago. Okay. Do think says Ye Cause wants dry rub when you can get it wet. Dry rub? Thou think dry rub when you can get it wet. Super what? stream server says source bitrate, 518 kilobits per second. Yeah, we're struggling with this bitrate, y'all. And we're far away from IKEA now. Maybe Buffalo Wild Wings has Wi-Fi. Maybe Buffalo Wild Wings has some has some uh, Wi-Fi we can connect to. Wow, I've never been there. I've never been there before. You know what to do with that big fat butt. Wiggle, 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 wah, 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 wah. Wah, 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 wah. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Hopefully we can keep y'all connected because, man, I have never had this much problem with signal, like, in the city. I understand that we're in the middle of nowhere and not having signal, but today the signal, the service is ridiculous. So hopefully inside this building we don't just like F completely, because that would suck. Wah, 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 wah. Buffalo Wild Wings is loud. I have a mic that I can put on. We should be okay. We've been in some pretty loud areas with the mic. Just hopefully they have a table for us and they'll try to stick us at the bar, you know? And they don't close for a while, right? Twisted Genie, thank you so much for the resub. How is your son? This Buffalo Wild Wings is not loud at all. It's actually pretty quiet. Pinchers, how you doing? Who has better wings? Hooters, Buffalo Wild Wings, Wingstop. I like Burger Barn Wings, but that's like a mom and pop's place. It's not like a chain. I don't remember what Wingstop's wings taste like. But I, I'll be able to tell you here pretty quick. Looks pretty good. Dog is a hungry. What the hell? We can stop all day. Slow tonight. Doing good, pinchers. So, I don't know if I'm supposed to just sit at a table or does this? Do you wait to be seated? Mm-hmm. One. What's on this side of the bar sign? Um, if you have a booth on this side. Yeah. I'll take this one. Super stormy, how you doing? And then I had good wings, especially when they flap. Oh lord. Thank you. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. I want to stay close to the window so we at least try to have some type of service, you know?
Hello, how you doing? I'll take a Diet Coke. Mm -hmm, that's fine. Thank you. Mm -mm 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 -mm. How's our big rate though? Jet's Pizza has good wings, guys. Real nice. Check, 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 check. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. Check, 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 check. Why is it not connecting? Hey, 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 hey. This mic's not connecting. The receiver is not picking up. Did I hit a mute button? It does have a mute button. Check, 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 check. Check, 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 check. Hello, hello, hello. Oh, Lord. Of course, it freaking fucked. Where did that come from? And why are we clucking? What just happened? Can y'all hear me now? Can you hear me now? Okay. Okay, I don't know where that cluck came from. Oh. Okay. A little clucky. Maybe I'll get a buffalo salad. Can you hear me now? Can I get a bit rate check? Ian, thank you for the follow. Gary Moss, how you doing? Are we still good? Check, check. Okay. We, we can hear you through the mic? Okay. So, you ever eat at Burger Barn on Highway 6? Yeah, that's one of my favorite places to go. They have amazing wings, too. How you doing? Um, I, I will get the... Uh, the um, six wings, uh, traditional, and I'll get three, uh, one sauce for, for the wings. Okay, what about 10 count? Okay, I'll get 10 then. Can I get the um, Parmesan garlic? Ask if it's BOGO. I don't think it's BOGO for the boneless wings or BOGO. They have a lettuce wedge. It comes with three Romaine heart wedges. Winnie Mochi. Only six. Huh? Oh, it's good? It only comes with one tender, though. Things kind of Oh, okay, okay. What do you recommend besides the Parmesan garlic? Because y'all have a lot of flavors. Nothing too hot, though. Ooh, okay, well my favorite is Asian Zing. That one is a little bit spicy, but it's not too bad. 50-50 sweet and 50 spicy. Okay, I'll try that. And uh, if you want, I can bring you some samples of sauces. No, that's fine. I'll try it. They were saying, I saw someone talking about Asian Zing earlier. Gary Moss, thank you for the 100 bitties. I think you meant to say 30 wings. You meant to say what? Okay. 
That's I don't know what they're talking about. Any ranch or uh, A whole lot of ranch. Any fries, tots? No fries, no. And um, I do have one comment to say. My manager wanted me to let you know that you can film in here, but you have to make sure that you can't get any of the other customers. Yeah, yeah, I'll just turn it to myself right here. There we go. Yep. No problem. Thank you. We can film, but we can't get any of the other customers. I think this may be my first time ever streaming at Buffalo Wild Wings. So, uh, they don't give us any problem at Hooters. Um, we never have any problems at Hooters. I think... Uh, PC people a mess. She was cool to the end. Yeah, she. I could tell she didn't want to say it. You, you know how when somebody's saying something, but they don't want to say something, but they're kind of being forced to say something. I could tell that she. Uh, I could tell that she didn't want to like be the one to say that. You know. So. Have we ever streamed in a Buffalo Wild Wings before, or is this the first time? Hooters loves the camera. Maybe to Michelle. Chair behind you looks pretty mad being on camera. Slap shot. She had to. Yeah, and you could tell she didn't want to. You know, she didn't want to. So it's all good. I just don't know if we've ever streamed in a Buffalo Wild Wings before. It's our first time? Okay, so yeah. So maybe it's just a, maybe it's a policy they have, you know? But right now, as I look up, I see one, two, three, four, four, five. I see five cameras filming everybody. So, it's all good. Should have went to Bighorn, need more TVs. Screwed it up for everybody. Shardy Pants, how you doing? Sleazy F, baby. Y'all know how it is. We just go with the flow. We just go with the flow. We just want to eat, we just want to eat some wings. Depends on how much the manager is. Yeah, we've been to Hooters a lot of times. We've never had a problem, so. They can watch you, but you can't watch them. Yeah, I'm not watching them. I'm just talking. Posted something on the stealth van. Okay, Michelle, I'll look at it after the stream. F10, DWW, we film you. You know, film us. Yeah. Is that the Field of Dreams game on behind you, Abyssal? I have no idea. This is Relic sneaking up on the ranch. That's pretty good. I got a sticker that says emotional support on live view because you do get emotional when you can't stream, so it's a win-win. Yes, yes, that's true, that's true. I am working on a new song, y'all. It's almost done. Um... I don't know when I'm going to have time to do a video for it, but they can film on their property. They, they can. They can. But um, I noticed that the host, the dude with the beard when we first walked in, uh, as I walked in front of him when he brought me to the table, he was behind me like shaking his head and stuff while he was while he was walking behind me like I could you know you know how you can look out the corner of your eye so I, f I fully expected something to happen to be honest because he already he already like had a whole bunch of chip on his shoulder I guess because I was streaming so I knew it, I figured it was only a matter of time before somebody said something you know so it's all good. And he might be the manager. I don't know. My Adventures. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate it. I know that I know over the next couple of months, the, the content is not going to be like, it's not going to be um, a lot of the Urbex stuff that y'all love. The Haunted House is coming up and we're gearing up for it. 
and um, is it unmasked? No, 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 it's not unmasked. It's a different song. It's a different song. Waiting on the Willy Vodka song. I know, I know. I just want the video to be really good, and I have a, I have a great concept for the video, but it's getting all the pieces in place for the video. If I knew earlier you were going to Buffalo Wild Wings, I would have pointed you in a different direction. <laughs> another customer who wants to go home um so i'm gonna try to i'm gonna try to bring y'all as much content as i can it would really be nice to have a van so we can work on it and uh ask them to check your twitch stream he might like it he's probably a freak too who knows what the hell your teacher was very nice you receive any flack tell her tell her oh lord so, um, tell them you work for the IRS. I'm a secret shopper. We need more ranch content. You're about to get some. You ever stream haunt, stream haunt stuff? Yes, Jigsaw Man. I, I stream like the, um, some of the maintenance. It depends on what's going on. If it's a, if it's a big project, like, I, like last Saturday, I was using a jackhammer all day to break through concrete. That's not something you would really want to want on stream. It's, it was so loud dust flying everywhere it just i don't think that's watching me use a jack camera all day in the sun is probably not probably not the best content for people that want to watch you know and so um but um i do stream some stuff out there it's just not everything is is what i would call like really good for stream because it's either too loud or or um what the hell, 77002? Um, and so it would be nice to get the van so I could do a build out. Um, it would be a nice to get to get to get the van so we could do a build out. If it's doing jobs when he's alone, he'll stream. But when it's in character at the haunt, most of it's on Facebook. Yes. Thank you for not getting the van. Oh Lord. totally underestimate the need for relic con content yeah i just don't know if y'all would want to watch me jackhammering concrete for hours and hours you know i think after a while it would probably get boring 24 7 and make 120k a year yeah that's a lot of pressure to put on to put on the community you know you can find the better vans actually i think i think so I think I think we can find a good one. Shardy pants. There you go. I would be offended if I friended. I would relic would be offended if I friended your Facebook page. No, you can go like the Facebook page. It's all good. Build out is the way to go. It'll be like power washing. Yes. I just came in a short time ago. What happened with the van? Um, we had another group check it out. Uh, the Lemon Squad, and they found some other stuff, and I took the report to a mechanic and just had them read it. And they said that uh, I enjoy watching you spray weeds. Yeah, so y'all can get another freaking sound effect of the freaking pump. Um, the mechanic felt like it was a risk. He said, you know, there may not be nothing, anything serious once he starts getting in there, or it could be serious. You know, he could discover things with those codes and everything that that um could cost you know quite a bit of money to get repaired so um you may have to travel to get a van that's true that's true he didn't want sound clips made of the hammering levy two shardy pants the hammering would have been um just loud and just crazy like it's just uh, that's all you would have heard the whole time creeps think of it 100 bitties to get the deposit back, I'm gonna try to get it back tomorrow. Creeps, how you doing? Pencils, calculator, compass, cardboard for making templates. Yes. I was hoping I could find some pre-made cabinets and stuff, maybe on Amazon. Maybe I could find something on Amazon that I could just put together that'll kind of fit. They do sell, they do sell pre-made furniture. 
for any type of stealth van you have, you can like order a kit and it's all the furniture that fits exactly in the van, right? The problem is, it's super freaking expensive. They are very proud of those kits. Bought a cat once with codes about emissions. Took it anyway. It was just a gas cap. Creeps the cloud shared. Nice. X100. I got my 3D printed figure in today. It looks amazing. Nice, Creeps. I've been looking for a van, but to find something under 200K miles is going to be 25, 30K. I posted a van in Discord in the van section. Y'all need to go look at it. Um, it's, I can get it for 10K. Twitch's clips are glitched. So they say it's probably all of Twitch that's having uh, uh, clip problems. Okay, so I posted a van in Discord. Um, let's see. Um, and this van, this van, where'd it go? Okay, this van is like ten thousand um, dollars. They want twelve, but they'll take ten. It is a. Um, Nissan NV SL. It has 220,000 miles, so over 100,000 miles less than the other one. It's eight years newer. It's not built out, but um, you know it might be. I mean, I don't know how tall. Can some, does anybody know how tall the inside of a Nissan NV SL 3D van is? Like, how how much do I have to crawl in it? Nissan NVSL van, Nissan NV, Nissan NVSL 3D, 3D interior inside dimensions. Let's see how tall it is on the inside. Cause that, that's, that's like the best one I've found so far. Nissan sucks. Milky Puff, can we get a shout out for Milky Puff, y'all? <laughs> How you been doing, Milky Puff? You been having a good day? Why did they discontinue the Nissan NV? That's the first article that comes up. This is because the Nissan NV vans fail to compete with other choices, such as the Ram Promaster and the Ford Transit. Okay, there you go. They discontinued that model because it could not compete with the other models of its type. Okay. So, uh, yeah, that's probably, probably, uh, Milky Puff, I ordered 10 wings. I got the, uh, the Parmesan and the Asian Zing. So, hopefully they're good. I've, I've eaten the Parmesan before. They're really good. And, uh, I've never tried the Asian Zing, though. Milky Puff, I hope you're doing well. I think I saw that you're planning. Are you planning on going to TwitchCon? I think everybody's going to TwitchCon this year. Except me. I won't be there. Envy 2500 gas. Go to 300K on average, Google says. But with maintenance, I'm sure it goes further. Okay. Have you bought thought about getting an old U-Haul box truck? I don't want anything that... I don't want anything too big. Something that's kind of like, something that kind of blends in, you know? We can go to TwitchCon next year. It'll probably be in October again, you know? When I bought my van in Mexico, they came with a bonus. I don't want to spoil the surprise for you, but you can get the van dirt cheap, but the first payment's pretty big. Yeah, I'm gonna try it with COVID. Oh, okay, no too puff. Sounds good. Okay. Uh, so many. Oh, creeps sent me a. Uh, creeps, <laughs> creeps, you sent me a. Wow. You know, ha, creeps has a statue of himself, y'all.
Lee G, are you leaning towards buying the van and kidding it out yourself? I think so. I think um, um, I uh, I think that it's probably best for me to uh, 3D print it. Yes, really good. It's good detail. Yes. I think it's best for me to maybe build it out myself because I was looking at some of the solar systems. Now I did find a van today on Facebook that I can't find anymore. If y'all can find it, please let me know because it disappeared. I don't know if they sold it or if I just can't find it anymore. I think it was by Austin and it was a van that they started their build on. It's all wired up. And they've got the solar system and everything that's not installed. Shout out to Captain Robs. How you doing? No, I don't want a short bus. But um, um, it's pretty much, it's insulated and it's got the wiring done. And so they stop there. So it still needs the whole build out except for that, right? And... Uh, that they run out of TVs and have to use projectors. That's Franco, how you doing? Um, so I found it, but I can't find it anymore. Now there's this van that is, uh, but it's all windows. There's a van here that you have to crawl in because it's so short, but Doritos just released two new flavors, ketchup and mustard. What? Ketchup and mustard. I would love this van, y'all. But it's it's way out of my budget. Check it out. Look how clean that is. It is so freaking clean. I really like this van. Check out the shower in this thing. Check out that freaking shower. Tell me that van doesn't look amazing. Rothman, how you doing? Yeah, but it's it's very expensive. Very expensive. CRA is off this week. You should see the nice van I put on screen. I seen a local low roof van with gaming PC. I saw that too, Madiger. I saw that, yeah. I'm trying to find this one that I saw earlier, but it's, um, maybe they sold it because it's up by Austin. And some of these people, they're like van for 5K. Um, but then, then you click on it and it's like, that's the deposit. Thank you. Yes, it is. Thank you. I'm good. Thank you. Let's see. And it was like, I think it's, you can talk them down. 150 Easy Outdoor Shower. Watching Clown Motel 2, you did a great job. Thank you. Um, I've skimmed through it, but I haven't, I haven't washed it all the way, like everything. I've only skimmed through it a few times. We watched it on a supporter stream. That's a stealth van on screen. I have no idea. What are you talking about? Mmm. Man, that's good. Mmm. Don't cry. I'm trying to find this one so I can show it to y'all. To see what you think about it. We might be able to go look at it maybe this weekend. It's in Austin, so it's closer. Here's one. Oh no, this is the Transit Connect. We don't want that. That's too low. Madiger, can you post that again? Hold on. Madiger, can you post that again? 
bit of salad with his ranch. Slotty Bar Fancy, where you been? Slotty Bar Fancy, Fancy, thank you so much for the resub. Golden Eye Fox, thank you for gifting that sub. Hell yeah, thank you. Matador, how did you find us? How did you find us so fast? So, I think I can get this van for a good price. It's in Austin. And that's it right there. And uh, Madigar is like freaking CSI, FBI. And see, it says posted for a week, but I saw this van before. So I think they took it down and reposted it. Madigar in French means magical. Where's the bacon, nation? I flipped search to Austin, reduced distance to, 40, distance to 40 miles. Wow. Canna Wilkes, thank you for the resub. Thank you for the nine months. So. This is the. This is the thing right here. They say, found it in the CIE database. We're selling our 2015 Ford Transit 350 EcoBoost engine, mid-size roof. We bought this van in 2018. We did several mods, but we ran out of money, time, and motivation. We're hoping to find an enthusiastic person who wants to put the rest of the work in and make this van what it should have been. This van is perfect for someone who's looking to continue the build we started. There are a few quirks on the body and with some sensors. They are notorious in these vans. It also has an aftermarket alarm that needs to be connected. I have the vehicle's title in my hand. It's currently unregistered as I never made it to the DMV after we moved. It recently passed a safety check with paperwork so everything is safe to go. Yoast Automotive took care of this van for anything that needed doing. I have all the paperwork. The transmission was replaced uh, before purchase. Here are a few other things that have been replaced. Catalytic converter, brake pads and rotors, front right headlight, replaced the filters and the drive belts, the tires and the mirrors. Things we modified. All holes were cut and electric wiring was done by professionals. The battery is currently disconnected and needs reconnecting in your build. We have a max air fan, a sunroof, a side window, electric wire through the ribs, three outlets, one dual USB outlet, two switches, two LED hookups, top of the line battery, converter, solar panels, and connections, not installed but included. We insulated the floor and the walls and also installed soundproof barriers. It has 155K miles. It's driven to Canada and back to Texas when we owned it. I'm sure you have lots of questions, so please, please reach out. We're available this week to see in person. So, what do y'all think? Like, it still needs to build out. It's only got 155K miles. It's a 2015, so it's newer than the other one. It's only got 155K. And so, why are you reading it like it's a story? Because I wanted you to feel like you were watching a story or listening to a story. Texas Hulu, thank you for the resub. Fanghorn sounds much better, yeah. Thank you so much, Texas Hulu. Can we get another shout out to Texas Hulu for the raid? I missed that. Read it again. Zero five. I've been busy this week. We did not get the van, no.
worth checking out. Send the Lemon Squad. You know what? I could send the Lemon Squad. Because by the time I spend gas and everything to go there and back, they could check it out for me. Hmm. Half the mileage of the last van, yes. It has the one mini window, the rest is stealth. Body interior look to be in good shape, yes. Yes, I can taste the Zing. These are really good. They are really good. Okay. I'm gonna message them. Where you go? Mm-hmm. Can I get another Diet Pepsi? Thank you. I just lost it. Oh, hold on. Okay. I'm gonna message them, see if they reply. Doesn't look like you have enough ranch. If they have a title, I mean, it looks clean in the pictures, you know? Like, you may look at this and think it's not too clean, but the thing is, it's, it's uh, you know, it's, it's being, you know, it's, it's in the build process. And so if you look at this, the, uh, the wiring's done, all the insulating's done, they've done soundproofing, they've connected all the vents and all that stuff. They've done a lot of the, um, thank you. They've done a lot of the, like, I don't know if you call it technical, but the, the precise cuts, like all the precise cuts to put in, uh, to put everything in, you know? Like it looks, it looks like they did do a good job on all that, you know, it's not, And it doesn't have a, a huge window, you know? Like, the outside. Thank you for the resub. Thank you so much for the resub. Like, it's got a little bitty window. It's not like a massive window, you know? It's like a little window, so you have a little, because that's where the bed would go, is where that little bitty window is. So. I guess so you have a little bit of light going in where the bed, but that's a small window, you know? It's it's very, uh, very stealth. And I think for 155, can someone tell me how tall the roof is on a Ford Transit 350 EcoBoost uh, mid-sized roof? Like, how, how tall is the roof? Cosmo Kramer has a big juicy van, nice. Shay Shay, thank you for the sub. Look at it yourself. Yeah. Um, Austin's not that far away, y'all. How long does it take me to get to Austin? Let's see. Let's go. Austin, Texas. Let's see. Austin, Texas is two hours and 20 minutes. Like, it's, it's not a... Like, we can... I get to Austin, Texas like that. It takes longer for me to get out of Houston sometimes than it does to get to Austin, you know? So, maybe we'll go look at it Saturday. We'll leave early Saturday morning, maybe go look at it. Lemon Squad, we need backup. 170 inches tall, that's the outside too, Dev. How tall is the inside? white vinyl oh yeah you're talking about like the mesh vinyl oh my god that's got a kick to it JKB it's got 155,000 miles Gary Moss like a boss. Look at the Carfax. I don't have the VIN number on it. I guess I could ask for the VIN number so I could check the Carfax. The work and maintenance are a good sign. It's shown love. Yeah. Motley Crew, how much for the 2015? It's, they want, um, they want, where'd it go? They want 26,000, but I guarantee you they'll drop that price. 
um, they'll probably drop it. I bet, I bet we could get it for like 20. Interior cargo height, yes. This dude has four ranches. And we'll still go through them all. <laughs> Big Ham Squad, did the mechanic find bad stuff on the van? Yeah, they found some stuff, Big Ham, that that uh, we didn't know was there and could be a potential issue. And the, the thing about it, some of it you don't know until you dig into it, you know, like take stuff apart and, you know, it could go one way or the other. It could go where it's fine and it's just nothing at all or it could be something else, you know? The body has quirks, yeah. Your first image was a bed. Your second was can I stand? Now you're looking for USB and charging ports, yes. Video nipple, how you doing? Is new out of the question? Oh yeah. Do y'all know what a new Sprinter van costs? Like brand new? That's true, zero five. A new Sprinter van is like almost 60K. The mid vans are five foot five. It's a 2015. That model looks taller than five, five foot five. Be a bargain if you get it to 20K, yeah. It's gotta be, it's gotta be taller than five foot five, right? Chipping, we haven't found a van yet. Two Dev, can you post that again? Can you post that again so I can click on it? You can fit it in a potty mouth? Nice, nice. It's, it, that's what is more important that you fit in it. Scotty Scotch. Getting ready to buy a van. We're looking at vans. A lot of lip smacking ASMR. That's what you come here for. Finding cargo van height is tricky. Okay, let's look here. Okay, so. Um, interior. Interior height maximum. 67.6. It says 67. What? It's, there's three of them. Oh, high roof, okay. Medium roof and high roof, 67.6, 67.6 divided by 12 equals five foot six, 5.63. So you wouldn't be able to fully stand up in it, but you also don't have to crawl, you know? Um, Get a hearse, yeah. Um, mm -hmm. Good, thank you. The 350 medium van is 77 inches, 6.4. You know, I thought it looked taller than five foot. Hold on. I was like, it looks taller than freaking five foot. So it says it's the Transit 350. Ford Transit 350 is what it says. Ford Transit 350. Ford Transit 350. Interior height. 
Ford Transit 350 interior height. It says the interior of the Transit van is 70, exterior is 83, interior height of the Ford Transit H1H2H3. What? What does that mean? It's 67.6, so 5 foot 6. How tall is the Ford Transit midroof on the inside? Ford Transit 250 midroof. Hmm. Okay. Can you stand up in a Ford Transit midroof? Ford Transit is pretty standard. Low, medium, or high. You'll only be able to stand up in the high top version. Hmm. Okay. So five foot six. Five foot six. Uh, it is ranch, not blue cheese. Five foot six. So I'd have to like walk around like this all the time, like looking down. Or like, shout out to Duke the Creek, how you doing? I'm way taller than five foot six, so no standing for me. Well, to death, I don't think you're gonna be in there. I'm just saying. Especially if I'm asleep or anywhere near the city or state of, 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 let's go rent a van, try it out. Two deaf still trying to weasel his way into the van. state of confusion. Minus insulation and roofing panels, yeah. <laughs> Dude, what the hell? Fap tears, yes. Oh, Lord. Yeah, so that one is... That one is a, sh a, sh a low, low roof. So... Uh, we did not get the van. Now we're looking at doing our own. Have you checked machinery auctions? I have not checked auctions. I thought you had to have a license to buy from an auction. I didn't think anybody could just go to an auction. Don't you have to be like a dealer or something to go buy from an auction? I've not checked rentals, no. What the hell, Potty Mouth? Buy my RV, one bullet hole. <laughs> Depends on the auction. Are we all invited to ride in the van so we can party and go to Vegas? What the hell, Letty? Dealers are tax exempt, so you don't you don't have to register for the auction. I bought a step van for painting years ago. Depends on the auction. Do you like spicy food, Bulldogs? No, I, I can't. I can't handle too much spice. It makes my um, stomach get the bubble guts. And it's not fun having the bubble guts. Nobody wants to have the bubble guts. Mmm. Right off the bone. High top's almost seven feet. Yeah, it's tall. Love you too, cutie pie. Hope you're having a good night.
Mm. How many clowns can you fit in a stealth van? At least 150. I would say. I can do wings 24-7. Oh, yeah. These are good, y'all. But... Can I get a permit? I found another. Hold on. Let me let me get the chat open before you do that so I can see it. Okay, I'm ready. Mm -hmm. I'm good, yes. Thank you. Did I catch it in time? Can you can you uh, post it again, Madiger? I didn't open it up in time. I didn't catch it. Have you tried the bone twist trick with the wings? I have not, Mandy. Not enough. There's never enough ranch. Okay, let's look at this one. This one is a 2014. Okay. Ooh, it's 28,000. I don't think they're going to come down, down low enough. Let's click on it. Let's uh, open in Facebook. Okay. Oh, man. oh, oh, whoa, this is built out already. I did not know. Wait a minute, this is nice. That looks really nice. That is nicely done, holy moly. I didn't know it was already built out. Wow, look at that storage. I wonder if it has solar. Okay, let's look at the description. 2014. Whoa, it's only got 81,000 miles? Fully built out with bed, kitchen, solar panels, roof, fully insulated, side window, premium RV fridge, only 81,000 miles. What? That's super low mileage. Just tell them to give you the bucket of ranch. Post, yes. 2014. You say 2018? Why does mine say 2014? Is it a 2014 or a 20? Mine says 20. Mine says 20. Uh, 2014. Look at those green cabinets. They did a good job on this. This looks so clean. Oh, that is nice. And it's a high roof. I wish they had a little more pictures. Wow. That's a weird countertop, a blue countertop. Sounds too good to be true. Doesn't look like a bad van. I'm surprised it's a 2014 and it's only got that many miles on it. A 2014 with only uh, 81,000 miles? Fully built out. Let's see what else they're selling. Sometimes you can... Okay, let's go to their profile. You know, we gotta be nosy, right? We gotta, we gotta go be super nosy. Let's see. Uh, life on fire. Helping high performers increase productivity and eliminate stress to create their dreams. Okay. It won't let me go to their, uh, hmm, that's strange. You can't go to their, can't go to their personal profile. Hmm. Low mileage, not dodgy. If you're in Austin, you can view both. Yes, I could. I could check out. They've been a seller on Facebook since 2009. Okay. It's weird. Um, more options. Okay. That is weird. They have their pro profile blocked. Hmm. If you're in Austin, you can view both. Yes. Maybe older folks. 
It's weird they've got everything blocked so you can't like... How long has this been listed? How long has it been? Where is it? It's been... It's been... It says it's been listed for a week. Hmm. 86 people have saved the listing. So 86 people are interested in it. Um, 86 people have, have like checked it out and have put that they're interested in it. Man, why are all these vans in Austin? What's going on in Austin where there are so many stealth vans? I wish they would have had some photos of like the solar and the roof and things like that. Oh, I just lost a freaking... Is it still here? I just lost it. Oh, no. I just lost the... Uh, listed 23 weeks ago. Mine says 23 weeks. Mine is, why does mine say a week? What the hell? Let me add this one to my favorite. Let's see. Where, where do you add it? Save. Okay. Uh, Madiger, can you post that link again? I lost... Oh, never mind. I got it. I got it right here. I'm going to save this too to favorites. Okay. Mine says it was listed a week ago. Hmm. California, Austin, California is the, is the culture. Maybe you could message and ask. I just messaged and asked if it's still available, which it probably is. But, uh, it looks really good. I mean, like, I don't see any dents in the body or anything like the um, is this a short body is it a short body van it's shorter huh than the other one yeah I think it's short short body because it seemed like it, it should have more room in it may have had a higher price and dropped it what is this that I just got okay that's nice Austin is kind of a hangout isn't it shorter is better miles per gallon look too good but you don't see no one buying me. You look good too, but you don't see no one buying you. Um, okay, too deaf. We'll, we'll go with that. We'll, we'll go with that. Oh, never mind. Mario owns you. Oh, psh. of course, of course. No one's gonna buy you. You're already owned by somebody. Content Andy, thank you for the follow. Mm. Delicious. I have one wing left. Who hired these mods? Shout out to Down South. They got married in Mexico. They did. I remember that now. Were you always a big fan of Diet Coke? I wasn't. I had two go-to drinks back in the past. It was Dr. Pepper and Mountain Dew. Lots of sugar. And um, when I started keto, I no longer could drink the Dr. Pepper and Mountain Dew. And I've really cut out sodas big time the past three weeks. Uh, Santa Cruz, I'm at Buffalo Wild Wings, yes. Only married me for a green card. Oh, Lord. I dare you to chuck that ranch in the room. I am not doing that, Michael. I am not doing that. Um, so I used to drink a lot of Dr. Pepper and Mountain Dew. And, uh... You get, yes, there you go. Thank you. Becoming a buyer's market. 
um, as cash is tight. Fanghorn, I heard prices are going to start dropping. Too cocky, how you doing? And that's why you see a lot of the prices dropping on these vans. People that had them for like thirty-two thousand, they're dropping them like twenty-four. And uh, um, Watchmen, I'm looking at cargo vans, pretty much any type of cargo van, as long as I don't have to crawl in it. I looked at the, my original intent was to buy the Ford Transit. But I laid down in a Ford Transit and I couldn't even like, I couldn't lay down all the way. I was too tall and my, my head was, was sticking up. And so, um, have you had the H-E-B brand sparkling water? Uh, I haven't had that, but I've had the, um, that other water from, from H-E-B, the, um, I forgot what it's called. It comes in flavors. Did you get the stealth van from Dallas? I did not, Baba Ganesh. So, I, um, I don't want like a bus. I don't want a ambulance. Um, Team Grumpy, Liquid Death. Texas Farm Mechanic. Put some ranch on the tip of your nose, see when anyone says anything. I'm trying to be really careful in here because um, we had a rough start manager wasn't feeling the, the, the streaming and stuff so I'm trying not to do anything to like draw any bad attention to myself we're done now but still coconut gunpowder how you doing need a spaceship a spaceship would be nice liquid death is three bucks a can I tried liquid death when we were in California they gave me some to drink and uh, it was rough but I think what they gave me was like a seltzer or something llama coming with the five gifted subs can we get some hype in here can we get some hype llama 69 coming through with the five gifted subs like it's nobody's freaking business all the hype liquid at what the hell deagle what the hell so um can i get a link posting right you have a one to look at mr neo i will uh have it open so i can click it can somebody give mr neo a, a ability to post let's get some hype for the five gifted subs y'all some hype baseball game to be completely straightforward, you could put a bed in your car. <laughs> I can't fit a bed in my car. Like, my car is full of, like, I, I have stuff that I have to carry, carry around my car. Oh, Lord, the link won't work. That link, I guess, is too big or something. It won't work for me. Okay, let me try to put it in a in a, a browser because that link will not open for me. Let's see what happens. Unexpected error. Okay, so the link doesn't work for me. No worky. The link no worky. Extra ranch to sip on. It will not work for me. It won't open for no one. Copy and paste. I did copy and paste, but uh, it would not. It would not. Uh, it would not work for me. Won't for me either. It's dead on arrival. Okay. <laughs> Tofu, how you doing? Okay, let me try that link. Let's see. Oh, wow. Look at that thing. What is that? 
Four, six cylinder, five speed. What is it? Uh, 2012 Nissan NVS. What the hell is an NVS? Yes. And I've got the card right here. Thank you. I've never heard of an NVS. Is that like a... Is that a tall short? It looks super short. What does the inside look like? Radioactive? What? Ref radioactive? A ton of photos. How short is that thing? They even got a video. They, it even comes with video. 136,000 miles. It's what pet groomers use. Okay, so is that um, 130,000 miles. 2012 Nissan NVS. The style you like, Nissan, yes. Backup camera? Yeah, I see it has a backup camera. Why Knox, how you doing? Hmm. Oh, it's got a video. Let's click on the video. Let's see what the video is. It almost looks photoshopped, y'all. Like the 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 hazard the hazard uh, placards on it and everything. And it's a white van surrounded by white floors and white walls. It almost looks photoshopped. I can't get the video to load. It means Nissan Van Standard. Oh, okay. It's an NV2500 HD. Oh, it's NV2500, okay. NV2500 HD. I can't get the video to load. NV, let me go to YouTube. NV, NV2500 HD Stealth Van. Camper van. Camper van. Thank you so much. Camper van. Okay, let's see what it looks like on YouTube. Come get your NV2500 today. What? I just want to see a build on one. Five things we hate about our NV2500. Oh, Lord. Nissan NV2500. Let's go. Okay, five things we hate. The height. I'm six foot two and I'm right at the ceiling in here. Well, not everybody is six. Not everybody is six foot two. Our actual finished ceiling. So, uh, he doesn't like the height. If I could wave a magic wand, I'd love so to six foot two. More he's six foot two and he can stand up in it fine. So, that's the first thing we hate. so that's not a problem. Six foot two, not a problem. Next thing we hate, number two, the rain trays uh, in these recesses here. He hates where normally the windshield wiper trays. What the hell is it? Who, who even? Who even? Who even? Who even looks at the windshield wiper trays? Like, I have never in my life looked at a windshield wiper tray. Princess Peach Pie, thank you so much for the resub. He's like, I hate the windshield wiper trays. How it, how it gathers rainwater. Okay, let's see what the next problem is. Thing we hate. I really don't like that it's not all-wheel drive. He doesn't like that it's not four-wheel drive. 
are any of those are any of the Sprinter vans four wheel drive? I don't think any of them are four wheel drive, right? Like, aren't they all rear wheel drive? All the vans we looked at. Like, I don't think I don't think any of those are four wheel drive, right? Like, unless I'm unless I'm missing something. I don't think anything we looked at was four wheel drive. Okay, so, so okay, so he doesn't like the wiper rain trays. He doesn't like the height because he's six foot two. Doesn't like that it's not four wheel drive. Okay, so let's see what number four is. There are people who've done conversions. They swap to get the all packages off road out. It's a video we made not that long ago where I said that I thought it would need to be a V6 was fine. Uh, it was plenty of power to tote around the things that we were planning to ban. After just having driven it uh, 1,800 miles or so, it wasn't the worst experience, but I really wish it had more power. Okay. Uh, he wants it to have a V8 instead of a V6. He wants more power. Okay. Let's see what number five is. He doesn't like the the size of the wheel. He doesn't like the size of the wheel. You know, inside the van, how you have the wheel cover, you know, where the wheels stick up to the floor. He doesn't like the size of the wheel. He doesn't like the size of the wheel. Blobby Kane, how you doing? The wheel base or the wheel, whatever you call that thing that goes over the wheel on the inside of the van. He doesn't like the size of that. The wheel well. <laughs> Sounds like a great van, yeah. Check that out. I can't, let me, let me, uh, you may have to repost it because I wasn't in Mr. Neo Trip. You're going to have to repost it. Found another diesel van in Houston. No build. Madiger, can you, can y'all post it so I can click on it? Will Wells. Will Wells, y'all. Will Wells. Most of that's trivial. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> that's like, you'll sub to him. Nice. Nice. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Psycho the Prisoner. Thank you so much for the resub. Thank you so much for the 21 months. Okay, let me, uh, let me click on these real quick. Will Wells, Bear Van, Mercedes Sprinter Diesel, 180 miles, 25K. Okay, let's click on this. Oh, wow, that one looks good. Let's, well, I want to give me an opportunity to open it on Facebook. What's going on? Damn, that's a big van. It has a backup camera. That is a massive van. Holy moly, that thing's big. So it's a 2016. Also putting these in Discord. Okay, that'll work. Um, Madiger's on it. Okay. Van Lifers NV2500. Oh, why I chose an NV2500 for van life? Oh, it's an article. Okay. Well, they make it look good in theirs. Look at that. Yeah, they make it look nice. So why won't it let me open this? Let's see. Why are you acting strange, Facebook? I'd be crazy how you doing. Yeah, Madiger, this one looks nice. It's the 2016, so it's eight years older. I mean, eight years newer than the than the other van. Wow. 
The inside looks really clean too, like the the cargo area looks super clean in the cargo area. Man, that van looks tall, like really tall. Wow, okay. Same van as the teacher van, except it's newer, right? It's newer and a lot less mileage. I'm doing good, I'll be crazy. Okay, so let's get y'all packed up so we can get out of here. So we can get out of here. Eh. Okay. Yeah, those look pretty good. That one just looks super tall. Dodge is basically a repurposed Benz. Okay. Alright, let's get y'all moved. Get everything opened up. I will say that uh, so much less noisy now. Yes. She says they were just getting off. I will say that uh, this Buffalo Wild Wings was just a really weird vibe, y'all. I don't know if I don't know if y'all could pick up on it, but that place was just a. It, I've been to Buffalo Wild Wings before, not on stream, but they seem to be so much more like I don't know that. This Buffalo Wild Wings was just a strange, strange vibe. Didn't finish your ranch. Haunted? Maybe it was haunted. I don't know. It could have possibly been haunted. There's a chair king if y'all want to get some chairs. And a Hunan Inn. We could have we could have ate at the we could have ate at the Hunan Inn. I'd be crazy. Which one am I at? I am by uh, Memorial. I'm just down from Memorial City Mall, so it's the one like it's the one basically at the Beltway and I-10 is where we are. If you're familiar with that area, the scatter being filmed. Yeah, I don't. It was just it was so quiet in there, like. I have never been to one that was that quiet. It was really quiet. Normally there's like music and you know just maybe it was maybe it was loud on the other side. Snowman cocaine, a horse fly bit you. What in the hell are you doing around flying horses? Man, our freaking, our freaking, our freaking, uh, data, our, our freaking speed is just crazy tonight. I don't know what is going on with this. and especially height. What? Uh, oh, that's the van video. I was like, what the hell is that? That's the van video.
Oh, I got a message back from the marketplace. Oh, no, I didn't. Never mind. Never mind. Not a message for me. Yeah, our bitrate is just terrible. I don't, I don't know how to fix it. I've restarted. I've done everything I can do. And I know as soon as we pull out of here, it's going to die. Or, like, put y'all on a be right back screen. Like, I, I don't know what's happening with it. it it's just... It's crazy. It's crazy, I tell you. It's crazy. You don't get bit by anything? Nice. You should go into an abandoned shopping mall. If there was one around here, I would love to go. I would love to go to an abandoned shopping mall. Tomorrow we'll be streaming probably around noonish. What we're going to do, I don't know. Like, we're going to be in town this weekend. I don't know what we're going to do. Um, so, there's a lot of haunted house stuff going on. And, uh, so who, how you doing? So tomorrow will probably be about five or so hours. And Saturday, depending on if we go to Austin or not, to go look at those vans, um, you know, that'll be probably a longer stream. And then Sunday will be kind of long. But, um, Jess and Nanos has been pushed to 620. Mario, I saw that. I went to that link, and they were not, um, go to the zoo. We could go to the zoo, but it's so hot in Texas right now, you're not going to see any animals. They're all, like, in the daytime, it's so freaking hot. They're all, like, inside their caves or inside. Worst time to go to the zoo is in, in the in the hottest part of the summer in, in Houston is the worst time to go to the zoo. You go there in August, you don't hardly see any animals. They're all, like, in the shade somewhere or inside their little, inside their little huts. Uh, sniper girl, no, we didn't get the van. NHRA drag race Saturday, nice. Zoo or aquarium, yeah. Svetka's learning new silk tricks, nice, nice, that's good. Svetka's on it. Svetka is on it. On it. Looking the source jets and nanos. I was looking for one or two, yeah, so I could try to make myself a Bella Box thing. But um, I haven't been able to find any. And the ones I have found have been way overpriced. Like, I'm talking like super overpriced, you know? And so um, I'm going to kind of just wait and see. There will be another. Yeah, yeah, we're working on it. I mean, I think we'll find something. Oh, sometime tomorrow we have to meet her and get the, get the deposit back. So that's one thing we got to do. I got to figure out what time she's going to be coming through Houston. Thank you, Shop 97. I'll look at it. I'll look at it. It's thundering so bad. We had some really bad weather last night. Like, real bad weather. Oh, yeah, on it. What the hell? Really? Just couldn't help yourself, could you? Wow. Wow. Oh, my God. Oh, you just couldn't wait. Just couldn't wait to use that chicken emote, could you? He's getting good at it. Oh, Lord. Peeping ukulele. This is my first time here. Welcome, peeping ukulele. Make sure you hit that follow button. Make sure you hit that follow button. Nice transition during the pause. What? What transition? What are you talking about? Bubble wrap your mailbox. <laughs> Crazy Vix. Thank you for the biddies. Crazy underscore Vix one shared. X one fifty. 
I had two relic. Yes. How did the chicken dance start for you? I put it as a sound effect. Didn't know if anybody was ever going to use it. I danced to it one time when it was played, and, and it just took off from there. Nailed it on that one. Who did the animated chicken? I have no idea. Fellow Eustonian at Peeping Ukulele. Hell yeah, thank you so much for coming through. I love sweets, dark chocolate. How you doing? Santa Cruz Chris. Shout out to Santa Cruz Chris in the building. Ask him about the 500 chicken dances in a row. Oh my God, that one night, y'all almost killed me. So many freaking chicken dances. I love cannabis. Nice, nice. It's always good to have a passion. You know, something you're passionate about. Nothing wrong with that. So, uh... My stomach is acting all kinds of weird. Like, I don't know if it's the freaking... If it's the freaking zingy... Whatever that zingy whatever I ate. Or what it is. But man... Something... It's just got my stomach, like, kicking sideways. You know what I'm saying? Woo, it's kicking sideways. Oh man, you talk about you talk about kicking sideways. Oh my god. It's next level. Next level. I love sweets dark chocolate. I'm okay. My stomach is just there's a bush over there. <laughs> my stomach is just like acting weird. And I can't type, so there's that. Okay, y'all. We about to drop a host right now. I'll see y'all sometime tomorrow. Probably around noonish, Around the noon time. And we'll go figure out something we're going to do. I appreciate you all being here tonight. Um, dealing with the bad service in Ikea. And all the Be Right Back screens that had no, no videos. Like... I'm surprised we had so many people hang in through all of that. I appreciate y'all so much. Thank you for the subs, the gift of subs and the bits. And uh, Woodlands Water Raid, that might that might be, so 5 p.m. Mario, Mario Terras. So we're going to do a host. Y'all go there and blow it up, show them that Relic Army is in the building. Y'all have a good night. Love y'all. Thank y'all for being here, and I'll see y'all tomorrow. Bye.